Yes. Yes. Happy Friday, everyone. Friday. Wow, everyone's got descendants. I thought the, I was the only one with this idea. What's going on, fellas? What a big night for I Arcade. Papa Brad is still. Damn, Papa Brad's like a gangster. Yes. Sideways. Yes. There we go. Dude, I mean, I want to talk for a little bit, but speaking yeah. of gangster, we have the gangsters of all gangsters from the I Arcade backstage. We've already been hanging out, talking to him for a bit. We might as well not waste any time. Yeah, no time. Let's give it up for our big guest. Who could it be? Let's see. Wow, there he is, right in the line of fire. Nice. I brought my gun too. Don't worry. Nice. Yeah, I'll switch. There we go. Nix is better for that Nick's position. It's a little taller. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Cool. Michael looked like he was about to be, become a victim. What's going on? Oh, Michael, was, oh, Michael was under the gun on this show. Ah, so many. So so many guns today. It's fine. From one show to another. Back to back. Yeah, I just got back right before I got on with you guys too. So. <laughs> well, thank you. You, you thank didn't. You you, I mean, thank you for showing up early. That was nice of you, but I was like, you know, you, you could have relaxed a little bit and showed a, up for I'm the latest. I'm a producer. Session. I got to be on time. I got to get set up ahead of time. I got to be ready to go. Yeah. What a big day for uh, I Arcade, you yeah, know? I mean, glad glad Operation Wolf is finally finally out oh. there, out of my hands. I'm excited. So <laughs> more things yeah, for, to come. For us, we yes. just get it and we're like, happy yeah. for you. It's probably it was like a, a long project and yeah, a lot of work. Of a gigantic project. Yeah. And then like, by the end of the show, everyone will be saying, this sucks. What, what you, what's going on next week? What's next? Yeah, so yeah, back to the drawing right. board. That's yeah. that's your life, right, Michael? That's that's, every week. This is every Friday. This is what I deal with. Yep. That's it. Yeah. That, that's, the, <laughs> that's the curse of a system where you can add games. Yep. And it's, you know, you're always going to have some, you're always going to want something new. Yeah. Without and looking back all at all the great things you have right now. Yep. So, well, you have a ton of great stuff right now. Um, we've been doing a new segment on the show game fight where we're battling all the shoot 'em ups is, on so the iron kid against fight. each other. And it, yeah, it just like, I hope it reminds people how many great games there are, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's always looking what's next. Yeah. What's but this there's week? already I mean, a lot of great stuff. So many great right games now. right now. Like you need to look into yeah. the catalog and pick up some of the hits, man. Yeah. There's but, a lot of hidden gems that people miss all the time. But you know, Michael, while I have you here, I mean, Vampire Survivors, come on. Anything like that. Anything, like anything like that in that would category. Be a good ad. I think people would, people would love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm addicted to that game. I can't stop playing it on it's my phone. It's a great game. It's it such is. a good game. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, anything like that would be great on the I Arcade. I would love to sit there for hours and play something like that. Yeah. 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 So, we, yeah, we hear you on that kind of stuff, too, of course. So just stay tuned on that. That's all I can tell you. Those yes. kind of games, I know. Love it. Hey. I think Cuddles is in the chat yeah. too. I, I know I see him every. Oh yeah. Every time Cuddles is going to be. Yeah. Cuddles is be is going to be going off tonight. So get yeah. ready for yeah. tons and tons <laughs> of Steam titles. Yeah. To Michael. be to be honest, this game really does remind me of Space Invaders. It took a long time to get, but the wait was worth it, man. Yeah, like, when I played it the first, I was amazed that when I played it, how how, enjoy, how much I enjoyed it. It's just so so awesome. Space Invaders was a different beast for sure than this game, but yeah, but yeah, Operation Wolf too is sort what of. I'm saying is you can tell you it took the time and the care. the The game was cultivated. It yeah. wasn't rushed out, and it was released. You know, you know, working well. Yeah, they were talking about the game tonight on uh, Super Game Room, dudes. Uh, yeah. I guess everyone's having a good experience with it. So my, yeah. the only thing that they had mentioned is like the crosshairs will like wobble a little bit. I think that's yeah. I think that's yeah, everyone. That's, technically, that's not on us. That's on Cinded. So it's their drivers currently for Android are newer. Their open source drivers that we're using are like almost brand new as of what September last year, right? When we announced Light Guns, that was like maybe two weeks before that. That's when Cinden went open source essentially, and that's when we announced so that we're going to do it because we knew that we could actually integrate that into our system. Um, but it's up to them. So this is sort of their first go at like true Android open source uh, drivers like this too. So it'll get better in fairness. But yeah, it's it's definitely like it's it's in a good state to play the game, which is why yes. it's released. Oh yeah, right? it, does, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, but it does definitely oh, like it, it jumps back and forth. We totally know that. Yeah, so we're waiting on on drivers from Sinden on that as well. So just, yeah, just you're like, moving a lot and aiming, so you don't notice it. But the only time you notice it is like if you keep the gun still, you'll see it kind of moving around a little bit. Yeah, but I believe Sinden does have something right in their software. I don't. I didn't take a deep look at like the Android. Mm-hmm. Good thing, and, and thank you for putting out that video because I literally would have just tried to update it through the you know the Windows software. Yeah, I've been I had using. the Windows. Oh yeah. Driver, so. Yeah. I, like, and as soon as I found out and I saw your video, I shared it because I know a lot of people watch I, I my show for the IRK content because I wanted to make sure that video got out there with people stuttering. to update their uh, guns the correct way mm-hmm. so that the game would work. But good job so on that video. You you got so the Android drivers are on on version one point nine. That's why we had to use them because they are like super up to date. But I think even with your gun updated with the Android versions of it like that too, with the firmware flashed on, I think they're all so similar between that and like Windows or Linux and stuff that you can still use the gun without doing anything else on other systems as well too. I'm not 100% on that too, but I know that it has been working on my PC just fine as well as I connect it to my arcade, right? So it does go back and forth. It just depends on how you set it up essentially, but okay. that's a little bit deeper level too. I we're playing around with these controllers just as much as you guys are essentially too right so they're still new to us as well so we're learning yeah it's it's working great the game the game is a lot of fun and and it's a challenging game so it's not something that it's challenging yeah you know, so know would have been the most di- the most di- the most disappointing thing would have been if i blew through it like in the first 30 minutes you know yeah this game so, i'm gonna ha- i'm gonna have to actually learn how to play this game yeah. if we get kept good. it if we kept it the way that i had originally had it uh, so we had a request by Taito and and ourselves too. We like we would have made this change honestly, but it was essentially one and done with like one quarter essentially all the time. Once you died, you died. No, uh, no one so would ever beat it. That's the sort of default setting of the game. It's but it's so challenging, of course. That yeah, but that was like the true Iron Man mode of this game is incredibly difficult. So like I don't even know if it's possible honestly. I'm, I'm sure some maniacs probably done it once or twice in their lifetime. But beyond that, yeah. So we we kept the. Uh, the infinite continues for you, but it does still search at the start at the level each time too. So you can't just always just quarter through, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well we, we expect Nick's to bring it. I, I hope it doesn't take him too long to show us how it's done. Hopefully he, <laughs> he's pretty much our ace in the hole on a lot of games. Well, he shows Michael, us, I know uh, we're going to be later on playing against you in operation wolf. Oh, we're all going to be challenging each other, you know? So it's not everyone against Michael, but wink, wink, maybe it is. We've, uh, we've been working working on a strategy, but yeah, I am throwing a little twist in tonight. But we'll wait till later for that because I'm still kind of butt hurt about that snowboard game. Like you literally almost beat the oh, whole game. It's, ah, it's yeah. right. Last time I was on, we played snowboard championship. Yeah, yeah. Again, this is what happened. So yeah, snowboard championship was a game when I first joined the company. There was no no QA or anything too. So I did all the QA back then. So like I played that game for. I don't know how many countless hours, too many, too many, too many times for, for any one person in their lifetime should play snowboard championship. But yeah. Yeah. I wish I would have realized that before picking that game. I think <laughs> yeah. I'll pick something real. You're aware it might be like that for most of the games. He's probably played them so much. Michael never played that game yeah. uh, I looked at it for five I, minutes. I'm sure he's played operation wolf quite a bit. I, oh yeah. I've, I've played through all the games at this point. So mm-hmm. like that's part of my job as a producer, um, especially as a games producer, I do play the games. And so, like, if there's things wrong, the mo- the modern and the arcade games do both. Um, so, like, I do know, like, around each game, essentially. But, like, beyond that, there's certain games that I have played, like, to a nauseam and other ones that I've played through, like, once or twice. So, Have there been any games that even were, uh, like, on the arcade that were too difficult for you to beat? Because there are a few that you have the difficulty level <sighs> so insane. Yeah. That, like... I think it's all it almost seems impossible to beat some of these games. Well, recently the uh the hard mode in um not Hybroxia, but oh my gosh, Rigid Force Rigid Force Redux. So the not the easy and the medium mode, but the hard mode itself too. When yeah. I first started going at that, that one's actually way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Because I blew through the easy mode and I was like, okay, this is gonna be whatever. Changed to hard and I got destroyed. So that's definitely one that that I haven't beaten yet on hard mode. That's a great game. I'm yeah. I still haven't beat it on easy. Because it yeah. starts to get pretty challenging towards it, the end. It does, yeah. It throws a lot of things at you. Like what you're saying about Operation Wolf, one credit, 
that would have been ridiculous. Like people would yeah. be yeah. Oh, a lot of people wouldn't have seen yeah. past the second level if that even. That's why we're like, oh, but yeah, okay, we should. I appreciate yeah. what they do in Ridge Force Redo. Like you, you get a certain amount of credits, but I believe it's it's balanced for what you it have is. to accomplish in that game. So it it yeah. is fair, but it adds that one level where you're just not going to quarter through it. Yeah. Yeah, and keep and keep adding credits. Yes, it's a true accomplishment if you beat that game in hard for sure. So yeah. And how, you many guys levels, also, how many levels are there in Operation Wolf? Six. So there's six, six stages. Levels? And like, so stage one is is not bad. Stage two is pretty it's difficult tough. towards the end, right? With the boss, with the hostage. Stage three is okay. Stage four is brutal. Stage five is about the same as stage four ish. But then stage six is an absolute onslaught of enemies. There's just, they throw everything at you in the kitchen yep. sink. And then after that, you have to beat the Apache helicopter too, which is near impossible i still haven't done that that's the one thing i haven't done yet so my qa team's done it i have not personally done that yet because it's difficult because by that point after stage six you just have like two or three slivers of health going into the apache and then you just die so it's rough is, why is, is it, it that sometimes i'll beat level one and i'll get like a little bonus level and other bonus times stages? i won't yeah there's different yeah. ways to unlock random them. Yeah, it, it is. It's I don't know if it's random or not. It's hard, right? Because I swear sometimes if you just don't, if you don't use any of your rockets, or your bombs, that's how it triggers it. But I'm not 100% on is that. that the maybe shoot, the coconuts? Or maybe shooting the animals. It, it might be the animals too. I, yeah. There might be some some other things that even I don't know about this game, honestly. Too. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. That Rich way I have Dello, yes, some I chance. I buy them direct from Sendin, yeah. winning my, tonight. my guns. Oh, yeah, I like that? Chat. Yeah, I yeah, got them from Sindon. Yeah, I've had to send in before yeah, I had Sindin, my goal. Yeah, or yeah. directly from the UK. Yeah. Yeah. I, I literally Shortly ordered, after Game and Brew, I ordered them. When you guys it's announced the gold out. and I yeah, saw like, the two connections after. in the front and we were all speculating about like control decks and all that stuff, like mm -hmm. that just to me, I knew eventually light guns would show up. And, and what was the big deal if they didn't? I could still use the Sindon regardless, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah so that's why you picked too, because most people had them to, to begin with. And if it's you didn't have one, you were ordering to one. The IRK, it's you're not just, proprietary. Yeah. I mean, that's you what's can nice use about, it with the PC. Yeah, that's that's what's nice about like our open accessories program is that we don't have to lock it to our system too, so that people can use things from other systems onto our system too, was yeah. really the main goal. But like beyond that, if people buy stuff specifically for us, they can always use them on other stuff too. So we, we wanted to do that on purpose too. No, regardless of the fact that we just don't want to manufacture the hardware for it, it just works out really nicely for everybody. Like it's a better thing for the user in the end. Yeah, it, it gives us, so. it gives us a lot more options. You know, mm -hmm. some of us have a lot of ways to play games in our arcades. Yep. And now we can use those guns on the iArcade and yep. we can use them in other places too. So I think it's great. Yeah. And the quality of the gun is like, I mean, I was really impressed good. when I yeah. finally got a chance yeah. to play it on the iArcade. I was impressed with the quality of the gun. It was so much better than I even thought it was going to be. Yeah, like if you're really, going to get a light gun. I have the one with the little kicker in it gun. where it yeah. where makes the sounds, you know, it works good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how Zhang's was so loud today. I still don't know. Dude, I just want to tell you how, my guess. He was, was busting cats in that game. Because you can go into the Sindin software yeah. and you can adjust you can increase it. the okay. strength of, of it. Yeah, because I had turned mine all the way up to 10. But there's I'm, the, you know, there's, there's no it. way, dude, if I play with that thing, that, that solenoid, whatever, and that mm -hmm. thing snapping tonight, you will, you will see, uh, my wife come blasting through the door yeah. and hitting me over the head with that gun. So I'm yeah. turning that thing off when I play. It's freaking yeah. loud. Yeah, speaking, man. speaking of the sense, I think you can go in there and actually adjust that stuttering that we were speaking of earlier. So you can. I think there's a setting in there that you can. You adjust. can adjust stuff. Yeah, we we played around with all that too ourselves. Yeah, um, I did that with the we, PC when I hooked it up. And yeah, it I I still it. think it's the Android drivers within this though because they're still new. They're, it's like, beta. Yeah, they're so it's new for Sindon too. Jong's yeah, in the chat. Really Jong just yeah. said he has a better gun than you. I could there's, swear. There's no Jong says his gun is better than yours, Michael. I'm sorry. Because we I got off topic, but I could swear I was trying to say earlier. I think right in the Sindon software they have like an artificial smoothing. For yeah yeah that. there's a there's a bunch of settings honestly that's why the sending guns are, yeah. are really nice because you have all that you have the access to all that stuff too even if you don't use it it's at least there if you do want to fiddle around with it so and we have played around with all that stuff it's just maybe we maybe we need to play around with it more or we don't really know yet right so again it's yeah. new to us too we're, we're learning as well just along with you guys but yeah we'll find out that's, it's yeah, definitely we're... premium i mean like it's premium experience mm -hmm. yeah, it's not there, there will definitely be gameplay you know, we're just...
talking for a little bit. Uh, Michael's Michael's here. He's hanging out, so he's not in any rush, you know. So we'll, we'll definitely we'll be doing some game fight. It'll be nice to have you as a judge. I'm excited. I'm excited. The, we <laughs> like the rest Michael of us. We haven't been able to agree on anything. The chat room has so yeah, this has vote. been uh, all the powers went to the went to the chat every, every time game. to determine the fate of almost I'm, every game. You guys have no idea. I'm so I'm so passionate in my opinion on a lot of these uh, games that I'm just like I know I know what's best. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the great. whole. This is great. This, this is the so whole point of game this fight. Whole point of doing game fight is that eventually like it starts out you know whatever there's a lot of games but when people like that have a passion for a certain game and then it loses yeah th that's where that's where it starts to get interesting you know the first couple of weeks we're banging out the games a little bit here and there but yeah people are going to start getting emotional that's that's part that's <laughs> part of the whole thing you know brad's already had his heart broken i think two times because like games that we have said are some of the best shoot 'em ups on arcade or are already in jeopardy of being knocked out or yeah. gone that's crazy. like truxton the game fights has, already truxton, knocked out truxton has truxton's almost yeah. out i saw truxton yeah it keeps going down i'm like how that's i mean it's some truxton and truxton 2 are like some of my favorite uh shoot 'em ups some of the best of all time but yeah, hey man the power goes to the chat so if you're in the chat, the, the power most likely is going to go to you unless we unanimously agree. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. And I can tell you this week, I've been busy playing games, capturing. So there's a bunch more options on the wheel this week. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, you know, and there's some ones out of like left field on, on the wheel this week, like. Mecha eight and Mecha nine are on there now. Nice. Did you have? Did you add Rigid Force redo? Not yet. Not yet. I, Not yet. I still can't get. I don't think it's gonna get knocked out, honestly. But it'll I mean. it'll be on there. But the problem is, is like I'm still having some issue getting a good playthrough. Yeah. To you know, for the video. So you need me to capture some video for you? Go ahead, Brad. I'll, Less I'll work for me. And yeah. I'll I'll, I'll, I can make a I can make a gameplay go. video for it. You can yeah. chat. Send send them videos. So Michael, we're, I really do appreciate all the work that you guys have done and just adding literally one of my favorite categories of games, you know, to the I arcade, which, which are like guns. I know we can play them everywhere. I know I had talked about, oh, can you run it out to a big TV? I don't care. I, I honestly, I don't care about running it out to a TV. I was just kind of curious about that been nice. it's just, just if it would I work like, it would i like playing cool. it right on the yeah i again, like playing it, on the cab it does work but it's not it's not it's a little bit of so far it's not yeah. optimal we'll see though again maybe we'll change that in the future i don't know i don't know i don't know like if we can even fix that or not too but we'll find out it could have to do with the honestly it, you, you just may have to be have like a real fast usb cord like potentially so something like that too or something to speed it up even i i still want to play like i want to play on a projector like i want to do like guns on like the side of a house That's well, yeah, that would yeah, be raven cool. has a projector he yeah. has a he has a couple of i arcades and he has a huge projector he tried it so he actually told okay. me that there was delay yeah okay and so when yeah, you said about one it. second that's that's not possible that's a you can't lot play that way yeah. game yeah but we're 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 good. I, I never really planned on doing it. I was just curious. Yeah, but it's, it'd be fun if it did. Like, yeah, it would. For some reason, I Dude, just Michael couldn't wrap page. my mind around how that would work, and and then I was like, okay, I get it. Like, you got to think the I arcade is the console, and whatever screen it is on, when you aim the Sindin at it, it'll just pick up yeah, that square. Yeah, because the camera's looking for the picture on screen. Yeah, right? yep. And the yeah. rest of it's like this white border more. right there yeah. as an example. You see the white border right yep. there. Yeah. looking for that yeah, absolutely yeah well you know i still can't wrap my mind around how they make that work to begin with but yeah it's just that it works that's yeah. cool and it does I work right, with some, uh, some wizards that's how it i'm i'm like ready to do this like let's yeah. let's get into game fight we let's do a couple of rounds first? yeah you want to, there's a bunch of people here we're watching tonight it's, here. A, we're not it's a huge chat. celebration and you, you know what you know what it's i'm so happy you're here tonight michael and i'm so happy that tonight is the release of uh of operation wolf and light guns because today is also the one year anniversary of this show can you oh, wow. believe that brand wow that's amazing that you know i've been here since episode one the very first episode <laughs> I still remember episode yeah. one. So, so it's a, a year ago tonight that 
online launched on iArcade because that's when I, I started the show. Oh, that's fun. And Amazing. Has it really been? It's been a yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. One year. They've done a lot in a year. Yeah. Unless well. I'm wrong. But I got a notification that it was a, it was a year today since this show. Yeah. Yeah. Should I thank everyone, Brad? Brad, I would have to 100% thank uh, Papa Brad yeah. here from yeah. day one. Uh, Rainwater was on the first show making fun of us while we were, we were playing games. Uh, definitely. R. Rainwater. Rainwater's <laughs> gone. He left. King Crayo and No Quarter just helped out immensely uh, on the show. Steps Gaming, Knicks, Mr. Alex Miami Colorsman, Cuddles. Mr. Miami Cuddles. And like, uh, just like the group that comes out to watch every week. We're not, we're not a, a huge show, but we're like a small family. So, you know, we, we, we enjoy just getting together and, and playing games every week. So I, I know I look forward to it. That's why I'm still here a, a year later doing the show. Too. It's all about the games. We love the games. Yeah, I look forward to it all week. It's almost like a, like a league night. It's like a bowling night. You know what I mean? Bowling night. Yeah. And we just play games, right? <laughs> So, yeah. All right, fellas, are you ready to uh, all become judges tonight? We're, yes. we're going to start up game fight. All right. All right. I'm going to I'm going to kick. I'm going to give everyone some time to get revved up and get get their judging ready. And uh, I'm going to kick in this intro for game fight. When we come back, we're going to start it up. We'll do about four rounds of game fight tonight. And then the three of us are going to teach Michael a lesson. In the one quarter challenge. We'll see. I, I yeah, got a little I twist. It. I got a little twist waiting for everyone once yeah. we get to that. So prepare I'm, to be I'm, disappointed. I know. Michael's had his hands on this game for a long time. I, I know we're in trouble, but <laughs> we're in we'll trouble. You, you remember the skiing game, the, the snowboarding game? <laughs> oh, wait, Brad, aren't, aren't we supposed to say hi to everyone in the chat room? I, I like know. 30 I thought people play your watching. Little intro. Right, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> A big Friday night arcade. Hello to Miami Tiger Arcade. Rich Odello, welcome to the show. Ichabod Crane. Chris McCloy, welcome, buddy. We got Goofy Foot here. He's always here. Thank you, Goofy Foot. We got Carl O. Mitchell B. We've got two die four clean like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two die four. Yes. King of the modders. Biggie D's arcade is here. Love Biggie D's channel. We've got, uh, we scroll down. A pretty full house tonight, Brooklyn. We do. Dean33, welcome to the stream. We got Sacro here. Quick, Brad. Michael's falling asleep. Okay. Well, welcome to the stream, the bad guy, Mike Worley. Uh, Raven SPE, PD7, Arcade Talk and Star Wars Reviews. Good to see you here, T. Jong Wook Shin is here. We got Jong in the chat live. Pretty cool. Talking to all the people. Kev Gret. The Rexer show is here. Wow. Full Talk house. Rexer. Yeah. Eric M. Bison. Did you yeah. uh, congratulate Rexer and Kev Gret on becoming the number one <laughs> the arcade one up? show congratulations congratulations to rexer mm. and kevgret they are the number one arcade one up show we got ronan mm. drummond here in the chat terror reels all right hi everybody we're gonna get this started Let's do this. Let's before this it becomes a seven hour show here yeah. we go everyone <laughs> get ready uh we're gonna need everybody's help in the chat room because we have not been able to agree on anything so far so most likely the chat room's going to be deciding everything tonight. Uh, this is Game Fight. Let's do it.
All right, Woo. we are back again. So crazy to see those games sometimes. Yeah, the four on. more rounds of game fight. So you know what that means. We're gonna have to bring in the wheel. We have two wow. wheels. Wheel of death. Look at all those games on that wheel now. <sighs> They're in jeopardy. That's how they can all fit on there. Wow. I know. What's what's also happened is now there are actually two final fight spaces on that wheel. Yeah, so it's a Truxton little bit more of a chance it can land on that. Truxton is on the wheel of death, too. If you if you haven't watched us do game fight before, what's gonna happen is we are going to spin the game fight wheel and it's going to pick a game. Then we're gonna spin it again, it's gonna pick a second one. And those two games are gonna go up against each other in the game fight arena. We're gonna watch some footage of the games to refresh your memory uh, if you played it, or just you can make your decision based on watching the gameplay. Uh, if the wheel lands on Final Fight, then we are gonna spin the Final Fight wheel, which has games that are already in jeopardy of being knocked out of the competition, and two games will go up against each other, and one will be exiting the competition tonight. So let's get right to it. I got tons more games on the wheel. Let's spin the wheel and see the first game stepping into the game fight arena tonight. Yo. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. A lot of games on that wheel. <laughs> Hellfire. 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 All right. Let's see the game that's stepping into the game fight arena to go up against Hellfire. Hellfire's a good game. So. Oh, is it going to be a shirt blaster? In the hunt. In the hunt. In the hunt. It's in the hunt. In the hunt. In the hunt. Oh. In the hunt. This is going to be real rough. This is going to be oh, a rough. Boy, oh, boy. All right, so let's get right to this. We're going to watch oh. a few minutes of gameplay of Hellfire on the I Arcade.
All right, so that's Hellfire. That's an interesting one. You have no real special weapon in that game. It's just all about switching the direction directions of, of your of your main fire to get through all the different situations. It's it's a tough one. Yeah, good Rigid Force game. definitely borrowed from that a little bit. Absolutely, you know? Rigid Force without you know, Hellfire, would we have a Rigid Force? They definitely use a lot of the uh, ideas that were pioneered in that game. Now, this game, game that it's facing is definitely for a shoot 'em up game, very different because Great. you have stuff under the water, you got stuff going on outside of the water, and it's it's just completely crazy. So let's check out a few minutes of gameplay yes. of In the In. Hunt. That's in wow. the hunt. That game is impressive. Wow. You know, when you yeah. look at that game, I know probably a lot of people are thinking Metal Slug, and I think that's because yep. I think the same, the team, same team worked on, yep. on that yep. game. Tell yeah. graphically. Yep. The animation style, but, especially. Yep. What's so amazing about In the Hunt, like it starts off with you know military submarines, planes, but it it yeah, takes cool a crazy that? Look at that. It sci-fi turn. It starts off turn. with whales. Yeah, off it gets nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, all the bosses in this game too are are like sea creatures amazing number two right they're like robotic sea creatures yeah and it's 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 uh a difficult game so you know it you're is not really hard it is really hard to be that game you're not gonna you're not gonna one quarter this i don't think no well, i'm already good. here so i'm ready to place my yeah. boat both games are great games so different uh hellfire is just in a bad position tonight going up against yeah. in the hunt it's a tough one in the Hunt is one of these games after, that I think is going to go pretty Chino. far in this competition, but we'll see. My vote is going to be for In the Hunt. Let's bring in Papa Brad. Absolutely. Developed thinks. by the team that made Metal Slug one of the best 
and coolest, most original shmups of all time. Are you kidding me? As much as I love Toplin, and I do love Toplin games, I have got to give this one 100% to end the hunt. All right. <clears throat> Next. What do you think? Have you played both these games? Uh, yeah. In, in, the, in the hunt all the way. Absolutely. The action, everything. Just keeps you on your toes. The challenge all the way. All right. Let's bring in Michael and see what he thinks. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. In the hunt's a, in the tough. It's hard to go up against in the hunt in general. Hellfire is a great game just because the directional firing. So, like, from a design standpoint, it's really cool. But I got to give it to in the hunt. It's just too good. It's too clean. It's too smooth. The animation is fantastic. The gameplay is so good. I got to do it. It's in the hunt all the way. Can, can I say one more thing I love about in the hunt? In the hunt, when you play cooperatively and you, you play two player, at the very end, you get to do a showdown against right. the other player yeah really? i always love that mechanic you That's know cool. double dragon the original lets you do that mm -hmm. and in the hunt it's in the hunts the same way so if you play two player at the very end your two submarines battle it out showdown style it's amazing so it was unanimous great but cooperative game i'm still curious to see what the chat room voted and with 75 percent of the vote they also gave it to in the hunt hellfire is a classic but i mean irem irem makes only bangers People got to realize that Irem has never had a bad game. I don't think they've ever played. Yeah, you know what they do? They make some amazing every game. Every single game is just a winner from them. I I really think that's true. So, dude, Ninja Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, Hellfire has taken a hit point. Okay. One more hit point for Hellfire. It's going to be knocked out of this competition. I'm ready to spin the wheel. You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Let's see the next game stepping into the Game Fight Arena tonight. Right. Oh, right. It's in the hunt again. It's in the hunt again. Can't go again. Easy. Right. So do you want me to spin it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. We have, we have to do it. No, get past Trucks. Okay. So it is UN Defense Force. UN Defense Force already has one hit point up against it. So we'll see what it's going up against tonight. Because if it takes another one, it is knocked out of this competition. No, no, no. Trucks, ah. All right, it's going up against Truxton, which also, oh. believe it or not, has oh, no. one hit point Boy, against it. So hit on one it of already. these games is, is, is leaving this, tonight. This yeah. could be the unfathomable death of Truxton. Oh. All right, so let me find this game. This is going to be amazing. I think I know my choice already, <laughs> but we'll see. Way to ruin it. Well, we can't agree. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is uh, UN Defense Force Earth Joker.
So that's UN Defense Force. I mean, it's it's a cool little game. the The sound can be better in it. Um, and like the colors, like it kind of has like it's it's a little bland on on the color palette. But overall, uh, a decent shooter up. But it's going up against Truxton. So let's take a look at a few minutes of Truxton and uh, see which one is the better game. <laughs> That's Truxton. Wow. If this one's easy for me, I'm gonna I'm just gonna start it off and I'm I'm gonna go with Truxton. Truxton's way more of a polished game. But man, that game is is punishing. 
Like it's ridiculous. Brad and I always say like in in Truxton, as soon as you lose your power ups, you you're done. Yeah. You know, cuz it'll set you back. <laughs> and good luck trying it's, to get it's, through it's some hard of the stuff to, in it's hard to make you it lose if you your, power lose your power ups. But um yeah, I'm going to I'm uh, it that that's an easy one for me. Brad, what do you what do you think? I mean, you don't need to ask what I think. I mean, you know what I'm picking. Truxton 100% I mean, this was the game that kind of introduced me to the Topland shooters. And then from this one, I learned about all of them. But this is where it started. I love this game. I love the difficulty of it. It's a game you're going to you're gonna buy it. You're not going to beat it right away. It's a challenging game. Um, I love it. I mean, for me, it's it's definitely in the, my top 10 uh, games on iArcade. All right. Let's bring in Nick's and see what he thinks. Now, I haven't played either of these games, so my, my opinion is based on just Watching the gameplay here, and okay. uh, I'm going to have to say UN Force just based on what I've seen with the game. The gameplay just looks a little bit better. Yeah, the sound effects a little bit to be desired, but uh, the gameplay looks a little bit better, a little bit faster uh, than Truxton. And I, and, All right. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be a little bit more challenging. And yeah, uh, so Michael, what, UN, what, UN Force. First off, what I'm do you think? so I can't believe you've never played Truxton before, Nick. So I'm very surprised. I played Truxton okay. too, but I haven't played the okay. original Truxton. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you and Defense Force is definitely like it it wins in my book for like the the artistry of the game, I would say too. Like the design of it is good as far as the looks go. Um, but Truxton, Truxton is where the boys become men. Okay. The Truxton yeah. is like the <laughs> ultimate yeah, challenge above any other yeah. any other shoot 'em up to me. Uh Truxton yeah. one specifically more than Truxton two, right? Yeah. The difficulty curve is brutal but rewarding, I think, in it too. And so, yeah, it's hundred percent Truxton. It, that music itself is just like it gets yeah. me going. I, I love yeah. that music in Truxton. That game could Thanks, be Michael. that that game could be renamed. So you so you think you can play Shmups? hundred percent. This one. I mean, this, Brad, this one, I I, this one I just amazing. realized tonight that I'm never becoming a man because I'm never beating <laughs> Truxton. But my, yeah, my yeah. vote still goes for it. All right. So we did not agree because the wild card Knicks did not vote for Truxton. But I'm going to stop the poll right now. Since we all voted, and let's see what the chat room thinks. Since they steal the vote tonight, the chat room has made the final decision with ninety-five percent of the vote. Next, do, do you may you may need to play both these games. Yes, you and Defense Force definitely did some cool stuff. Like mm -hmm. it's speeding up. You got you know you're going underneath the clouds and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, it just did not have any chance against trucks. Then that means. Because uh, you and Defense Force already had right. one strike Out. tonight, yes. it's game over. I may over. have lost Goofy Foot, but I'm not wrong. <laughs>
like, what is it? Vape Betrayal gets picked every week. Alright, now, Vape Betrayal has just been knocking games out left and really? right. Yes. Vapor Trail has been the hidden unknown juggernaut on it's, iArcade. Like it, people it, love Vapor, Vapor Trail. Man. The I'm, music I, is fire. That's true. It's get it, it gets picked every week and every week it never loses. It never but loses. We'll see what happens here tonight. Games. Let's see what's going up against Vapor Trail tonight. I think my number one album is just like got knocked out of me. I don't I don't know. Oh, it's like, it just went. It is trucks. Then. It just went. Just oh. went though. It just went. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! You Dude, can't make it. You're what making what it else can again. I do here, Brad? It I'm just, mixing it, it up even got, before it I just spin. Just came out of the ring, Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't go twice in a row. You gotta. You gotta mix yeah, it. Yeah, you took out in the hunt. So, what do you what do you think here? I'll I'll leave it up to you guys and and the people watching the show. Should we? Let should we face vote. it up against Trucks or should I chat vote? Should I uh, chat vote. spin the wheel again? Let the, audience, let the audience decide. In the meanwhile, I'm mixing it up. Big, so Sacro think- saying stick, stick with it. Chris McCloy saying skip. Stick with it. I'm just looking at a Biggie's question really quick, and I think he's talking about the screws underneath the bottom. Biggie, if you're talking about the feet, the rubber feet that are on the bottom, yeah, they, they're hand screwed. You just unscrew them. So screw them. All right, they're saying the wheel has spoken. So okay, we, Let's do we it. may have to okay. leave it as is. Sure. I know Run we just it. watched a few minutes. Brooklyn, of, uh, don't break my heart tonight. Now, come on. <laughs> All right, so let's check out a few minutes of gameplay of Vapor Trail. So that was a few minutes of Vapor Trail rocking out. Yeah, I know we yep. were all rocking out. <laughs> rocking right, out. So 
We're gonna watch some. Uh, we're gonna watch a little bit of trucks, and I don't think we have to play the whole video. We just we saw. It. We just saw yeah, trucks. We just so <laughs> we, we, we get the point. But let, let's watch at least about a minute and a half of this. So we just saw Vapor Trail, and now it's going up against the game that was just in the Game Fight Arena. It's Truxton. stop it there michael when you watch my gameplay do you see uh the mistakes i'm making like i'm panicking you use a lot of bombs when you don't yeah, have well, to, yeah. i panic when those guys come out man it's it's normal yep uh, so i like to skirt the bullets a lot because that's just how that game is the but bullet you, patterns in that game are, are just confusing and they're fast you know it's, it's my favorite part of the game is just dodging those bullets though all right brad you're already uh sent to screen so might as well might as well start voting See what I did? Uh, what I really you know how I'm gonna vote. Come on now, Truxton. You can't touch Truxton. Please don't, don't, don't vote out Truxton. Truxton is a masterpiece. All right, I'm gonna go in while Brad's firing off his gun. Uh, I'm giving that to Vapor Trail. I don't care. So what? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> why? Okay. I want to know why the music. Because I could probably beat Vapor Trail, and that right. like, doesn't mean it's I a better pretty... game. I, uh, yeah, Truxton is great, but I appreciate what they do in Vapor Trail. I love like the army theme, but you also get like the sci fi mixed in. And look how cool it is, even in the beginning, like when the big tank comes out, you see it, it doing the damage to the ground. People love it. And stuff People like that. It. Like those little details are good. And that's awesome. Uh, you know, surprised me I, how, both how games beloved. Are good. I'm 50 It surprised 50, me how but... beloved Vapor Trail is. I never I'm, knew it was so I'm popular. going to Vapor Trail. Okay. It's, what do you think? Well, between these two games, I'm gonna have to go Truxton, and just based based on the uh, the gameplay that Truxton has, the enemy variety, uh, it and uh, it it just has a little bit more of a challenge, and y y these army games shooters have been done to death, right? And and and, and Vapor Trail kind of falls under that, and, and when you, especially when you're comparing it to Truxton, mm -hmm. uh, but if you compare that to UN Defense Force, I would pick UN Defense Force over uh, over that. Uh, based on the gameplay and just uh, what the game has to offer. So Truxton, sealed. That's my vote. All right. Bring Michael in and see what yeah. he thinks. I mean, so again, visually, visually Vapor Trail is great. 
And you've also got like, of course, the music vapor show, right? This is like this is like John Williams versus Danny Elfman, right? So like you've got like Trucks, which has the like really noticeable like beats and stuff like that. It's really memorable. I'm drinking one drink for every game. <laughs> but I'm gonna be show, shooting like, really good background. when it comes time to play a uh, uh, Operation <laughs> Wolf. I'm gonna be hitting nothing. Sorry, Michael. Brad, Brad good, just doesn't good. care. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with Truxton 100% just because of the gameplay itself. It's again, it's purely coming down to the gameplay in this game. It's just too, too good to beat to me. But all yeah. right. So we all voted. So we didn't agree because of me. I'm going to end the poll. Let's see what the chat room thinks. I wait for that to pop up. They also agreed with everyone else except me with 58%. That's not that bad, though. Vaporchill's Truxton's good, still in this competition, and okay. Vapor Trail has taken its single hit first huh? hit point. Wow, and it's it, Vapor Trail's been picked a lot. But Truxton's not a bad well. one. Dude, to Vapor lose Trail though. gets picked every week. Like, yeah. what's going on here? I had Who's to it? lose sometime. Yeah, I know. There's no shame in losing to Truxton. All right, I'm going to add the one hit point to Vapor Trail, and we're going to get ready to spin the wheel one more time tonight. Here we go. All right, let's get right back to it. Let's spin the wheel. I'm going to mix it up a little bit again. Here we go. And then spin it. All right, you, you say the name yeah, of this so game, Michael. Because they always say, I say Asuka and Asuka. Is that is that it's correct? Both. It, it's really Asuka and Asuka. But I say Asuka, Asuka and Asuka. Asuka. Well, how Asuka. am I supposed to know that? It's, it's Asuka. You're so uh, uncultured. Yeah. Asuka and Asuka. Japanese. Japanese. I'm from it's Louisiana. Asuka. I say I say Asuka and Asuka. The two. I'm from Pennsylvania, though, in fairness. So you should never trust how I talk. Well, I'm in Pennsylvania, so I That's could say right. Asuka yep. and Asuka. <laughs> All right. So we got yeah, a, um, a newer game to the I arcade, mm -hmm. and. It, I thought this one was a lot of fun. So with you know, with going through like all the time dinosaurs. travel. So yeah, it's the one with the dinosaurs, Asuka. right? Yeah, and I do I like actually show the dinosaur level in the gameplay on this. I love one. the dinosaur level. Well, let's mix it up again here, and then spin the wheel and see what's going up against Asuka and Asuka. <laughs> No, Brooklyn, it's Brooklyn, are you dude. putting your finger on that dial? I'm not Truxton. doing anything here, but it's Truxton's another Truxton th game, but this time it's yeah. Truxton 2. Two. Oh, snap. All right, so let's get right into this tonight. Let's okay. take I will a look say at this. a few minutes. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah. I will say this. Uh, people that say the difficulty of Truxton 1 is too hard, Truxton 2 is perfect. Perfect difficulty because it's easier than Truxton 1. They learned, yeah. I mean, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, from from like if you're looking for an easier shmup, it's it's definitely an improvement over trucks. Yeah, it's definitely more approachable. It is. A long I have finished game. it. I have rolled that game over and finished the, the loop level. Yes, the I have on this show. Two, though the mm -hmm. the bombs and trucks in two are like the coolest right bombs I think of any shoot 'em up. I think hands down. I love it. Yeah, the skull. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. I mean, because you know we have a lot of wild cards here. Voting. We do. You never and know what's going to happen. We may not agree and go yeah, to each other. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine if we don't so, agree. It's better. It's a better show. Are you ready to watch uh, a few minutes of footage of Asuka and Asuka? Absolutely. Yes. Here we go. This is the second level, which I skipped to. Usually I, I captured the first level, but I captured the dinosaur level. So let's check this out.
perfect. Wow. Yeah, that's a suka and a suka. I like that one. Um, I like the the little bonus levels between levels. I think that's kind of yeah, like yeah. what they what they meant to do there is like that's your time traveling part where your ship is speeding up because yeah. every level in that is like a different period of time, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, but it's going up against a monster. <laughs> Truxton too. Yeah. It's going up against Come Truxton too. So let's take a take a look at a few minutes. We've seen Truxton tonight, so let's see. What did they do in Trucks and Two Two? Did they improve the game? Did they make it any better? Let's take a look at a little bit of gameplay footage and see what we think. Truxton too, Michael. You're already in the uh, center screen, yeah. so you could start this off. What do you think? I mean, it's a tough one, right? It's a real tough one. Is it? <laughs> is I do it like tough? dinosaurs. In fairness, is it? Yes. Tough? Come on. You know how yeah, stupid I am, Michael. I never even put the <laughs> is phone it in tough? the chat. Come on now. <laughs> so so honest, this is unanimous. Point. It's okay. Well, yeah, it's going to be Truxton too, 100. percent All right. There's no question. It's just such a good game. All right, I'm gonna. I did not even put. I'm so dumb. I was like sitting there enjoying the footage of Trucks and Two. I forgot to even ask the chat room. I'm not sure if the chat room is gonna be needed on this because I'm also going with Trucks and Two. But let's bring in Papa Brad and see what he thinks. I mean, Trucks and Two all the way. All right, next the masterpiece. Trucks and Two, this time absolutely. All right, so. We didn't need the chat, but I no, think we, didn't need the chat. we knew. I think yeah, the- I am so sorry. I was yeah. like just enjoying that footage. I completely either it was either that or the two beers I drank. I don't know. I'm I'm a lightweight, so I like Rex. One or the other. Here. Trucks in one too hard. Trucks in two too easy. Uh, it's about yeah. right ish. 
Yeah, but Troxen 2, like, it's such a long game. I think it makes it, it fair. Is. Like, yeah. it's a long it's journey. Out. It's yeah. great. If you, you say get a it's lot easy, of gameplay for the money. Loop the game. Loop the game. You know, loop the it only, twice. I don't, like, I don't like to spoil endings, but, like, the only thing about Troxen 2 is, like, it starts over. You, re- you go for a long while, and it doesn't have any kind of, like, dramatic ending. It just yeah. goes, starts it over loops. again. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Trucks and two takes the win on that one. Wow, good thing because I wow. completely I forgot the drop and block to include the chat room on on that one. That no, Brooklyn man, you keep That's showing good. games. You're gonna wipe me off off the floor. How many more games are you gonna show, dude? <laughs> There's so many of them on the wheel, and I still got a ton a beer more. Each game. I got I got to play and capture. Okay, what are you drinking there, Brad? I'm drinking a chauffeur hopper. Yeah, I'm drinking uh, at a bloody mary tonight. Yeah, I had, I had about one yeah. per per yeah. game. It's my actually first time having these. I've it was a special night, Michael. In Chicago. Yeah, we're cele- we're you know. celebrating. We are so happy to yeah. have this game. What are you drinking just, there, Michael? We're celebrating. Uh, it's just this this blood orange IPA still from the uh, the Brew Free or Die company. I was going to get this wolf that. stuff, but when I saw the alcohol content, I was like, dude, I'll drink one of these, and this show is going to go badly tonight. <laughs> so. I, actually, just, I don't. I don't even like IPAs. So at least, at least someone's responsible right here, now. Brooklyn. Yeah, I would have been. This would have really. I mean, it probably is bad, but it would have been worse than what it is right now. I'm still waiting for. Can I'm waiting for Wait. Truxton one to go up against Truxton two. Can you pull two. up a comment? That's the vote that I'm looking for. Sure, Can you Brad. Pull up which this comment, comment would you like? Biggie D. Could you just pull up this one comment? This is comment of the evening. Which one? He has a few of them in there. The, the one where it says. 1052. Timestamp. All right. Here we go. 1052. Way to make it confusing. It's 1152 here. Is this yeah. one is this the one, Brad? This is the one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Is it bad? I played my RK one ups only once or twice since I got my IRCade. No, that is not bad. That is typical. That's what Michael said before the show started. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's a troublemaker. So, sorry, Biggie D. But it is true. IRK gives you a lot of good options. I mean, you know, don't write IRK off. They have a lot of great games. I mean, give it a chance. I mean, they've got a lot of great games. I mean, just in, we've mainly been showing the shooters, but that's just one category. Yeah. Well, yeah, the shooters only are one are, tiny category. We're not even showing like the retro modern games, which are fantastic. Game fight is not over after the shoot em up. It's going to take a, a while to get through these because I'm not doing it as a separate show, which I, I originally planned. We're, we're just adding it in this as a segment of this one. But once once and this competition is over, I already have the next one planned. The to next be, one is to be fair, to be different. fair, too, we started with the most ruthless, strongest category. That IRCade has. Yep. Without a doubt, there's no machine that can touch this machine. If you like shoot 'em up games, there's no machine that's even close to an IRCade. Which I do. I I don't know. For some reason, it's like it never gets old to me. Yeah, I love it. And I think games. just by watching the gameplay footage tonight, you can see every one of them has that little bit of a difference to it. Yeah. Some a yeah, lot, I mean, you know. Like like the like a Suka Suka game. It, it scrolls a little bit to the side when you play it. It scrolls fast. Really so different. I had to get used to that. But um, oh, I had never even heard of that game until they that game. until they put it on the iArcade. And what I like about that one, it's very challenging, and you only get a certain amount of credits to beat it. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. It's I do balanced. I like the limited credit the amount of credits it gives challenge. you. But you have to start to – you have to start to be better at the – earlier levels and save it for the end you know you know what i kind of like too it's like it's like a surprise you never know what kind of game you're going to get and that's one of the strengths of think of i arcade like when that game was released i'd probably played it maybe on a on a on a meme or on something before but i never really got into the game and, and gave it a fair shot but you know when it came out on i arcade i got to actually played it for a while and, and learned the mechanics and stuff so I like that we're always getting uh, the the new games, and I think it makes you makes you appreciate them more, you know. At yeah. least for me personally, I enjoy this segment. I enjoy um, shooting them up so much. I like watching the footage and and uh, 
battling them against each other. I, I could do this all night, but we have a new game on the arcade that we need to get to because we got the, the one quarter challenge. Think, We're going uh, right into it. So is everybody ready? Do it. We can decide. We can decide right now um, who's going to be going first tonight. What is it? There's a comment here real quick too by Ichabod Crane about uh, he's never been in the hunt before, uh, especially to play a uh, versus mode. That's an online game too. So if anybody ever wants to play Ichabod, there's yeah, that's a, that's an online game for. So is Truxton too. You can yeah, play that. Uh, Ichabod, message me. I'll play through the whole game with you. I love in the hunt. But beware, at the end, we're going to have to duel, and only one of us will be the victor. When you get to the very end of the game, be prepared. It goes to a screen, and it's 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 on. All right, so but let's work this game. out. Michael, you could you don't have to be in this conversation because we'll, yeah. we'll save you for last. Okay. But let's, uh, let's work it out between the three of us. Who wants to start this off tonight? Brad? Oh, you, you got a super chat, dude. Do I? We got a super chat. Yeah. Ichabod Crane. Well, oh, if I have a super do chat, then it? that do means I, I have to hit this. This is a fact. I'm 58 years old. 58. I'm 58. 58. Your channels are going down. You made a little money off of YouTube, but your game is over. Boom. Mm. Sticking it to the man. Peace out. Shout out to our buddy Ichabod Crane with that $4.99 super chat. Not to brag, but I blew up Cuddle's submarine at the end. So were they were they playing against each other? I think so. Awesome. I think so. He said he hadn't gotten to the end. He just said he hadn't gotten to the end, but he blew up he blew up Cuddles at the end. Which one is it? Put up Biggie D's comment to you. That was a good one. I haven't played many of the games, but Wizard of Walls has been my favorite to play. Yeah. Wizard of Walls is a banger. Really? Yeah, it's That's so a good. fantastic game. I gotta get back to play that. There's so many good games. It's like almost hard to pick. Once you have so many of them, it's hard to pick which one you want to play. We will get back to all these games. I've been kind of like coming up with ideas. I'm working on something where like we're gonna have to revisit all these games. Back to Ichabod Crane. He says that was Hopefully the first Hopefully Nick's won't be as good anymore. <laughs> He said that was no, the first no, time he played no through good. it. All right. So on the topic of playing games, we are about to play the newest release from iArcade, uh, which also okay. enabled, finally, light gun support. Tonight, we're going to be playing Operation Wolf. Brad, you're you're right there. You got the you got sending in your hand. You look like you're ready to go. Next, you too. But... Uh, I think I'm in trouble in this one quarter challenge tonight. I don't know. Michael's like looks real comfortable. He's just sitting there like. I'm just chilling. Yeah, these, yeah. Like, I got my dead like, board behind me too. He's like these three idiots have no idea what they're in yeah. store for. What's yeah, I about think we to happen? Should save Michael for last because he's gonna smoke us all so bad. It's Michael, not really funny. Could you please don't be the whole game. Oh, I can only get to level six. Like. I don't want to see the whole thing yet. You know, I want to be a little surprised. Actually, I, I like I that. tend to I tend to Move shoot on. the hostage by accident at the end of level two. Like instead of the boss, like I accidentally shoot the it hostage. Happens. Then that's when I lose. Yeah. It happens. It's a, it's it gets in the way. What can I say? All right. So look, here's the deal. There's a little twist tonight, okay? Okay. Because we do know that there are two ways to play this game. You can play it with a light gun. Mm -hmm. And oh, no. if you don't have the gold. On, and the gem one, then you play it with the stick. So my twist tonight is our scores are going to add up. We are going to play it one time with the light gun and one what? time with the stick. Okay. That's right. Okay. We're going to That's play awesome. Both ways. Don't no, force us to play it both ways. So, hey, yeah. You know, I'm not that great at math. I mean, look at me. So I am going to need the chat room's help. <laughs> keeping our scores and adding Good it up. Luck. Papa Braddy, you ready? So okay. here's how it's going to work. We'll play it with the light gun first, okay? Okay. The way it's meant to be played. And then we are going to come add back up our scores. and we're all going to play it with the stick. Yeah, we're going to add up our, our scores That's and the one high score is going to win. Braddy, you, right. are you ready to go? Are you ready for the one ready. quarter challenge? Let's do this. Let's all right. Oh! Get, get Operation Wolf ready. He looks like he has it ready. All right. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right. Here we go.
right, so we have Papa Brad up. He's ready to go. I can see he's using the send in. He's dropping in to the danger. The good thing zone. about this, and I did test this out early, you could just put the send in down and grab the stick, and it's ready to go. It works, ready to go, absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like he's got the recoil going. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, no! oh, he <laughs> shot the nurses. Brad, nurses. what is wrong with you? He's still good. He's still, he only lost one bar of health. Good. What's the penalty for doing that? I don't know. Shoot another one. <laughs> I think nurses are just a score penalty. I don't think they're a life penalty with this score. Brad, look, he shot, he shot more nurses. Man, Brad is... Either that or you lose one bar of health. He doesn't care. It might be one boy, but I think it's just one. So you can rapid fire on this. You can just hold the trigger yeah, you and hold the trigger keep down firing. I I usually try to like fire, but like if I'm going up, if I'm trying to save my my bombs and stuff, yeah, like I'll, I'll rapid fire on a tank or on a, or a helicopter. Oh, yeah, you gotta rapid fire on the. Especially, yeah, they're, they're the most dangerous. They take a lot of health. The helicopters, especially the helicopter when they shoot at you. you gotta drop. Brad hasn't used uh, many bombs unless I missed out. Oh, he missed. He missed those two. The game blocked them out and picking them up. Oh. All right, next level. The jungle. Oh, the jungle. This one's ruthless. Here we go. Oh, but you get the bonus. Oh, he got the bonus level. Yeah. Keep shooting the coconuts, man. That animal. Yeah. So if you notice when you look, Brad is now streaming from the gold. You'll notice that his image is stretched. But when I stream from the gold tonight, you're going to notice it's perfect and upscale. And I'm going to show you how I did that. No. Four, six, five. Well, at least he got that level. Like, that helps out a lot. Four, six, five, fifty. Okay, I got his score. Okay. With the gun. Forty-six, five, fifty. All right, I got right. that. I got that written down. Okay. Four, got that forty-six, written down? five, fifty. Right. I'll write it down and I'll add him up. Forty-six, five, fifty. Okay, awesome. So, how about this? I'll uh, I'll step in next, and uh. And I'll play I'll play my game with the light gun. And then we'll get into uh Nick's and then we'll get into Michael, okay? Right on. Yeah. I, so I I'm gonna not, give you the I've not played this before today. Today is my first day. So all right, I'm gonna give you, you the full good. You treatment. Good. I'm gonna give you the sound and, and, and everything. So you notice now on mine when you're looking at it, look look at how sharp that looks. Right? So you know, as someone that does uh, a, U a, a show on iArcade and does YouTube content, that looks great. Gonna, I want to. I want off? it to be, yeah, the the way it's meant to be. So this is how it the game is meant to be scaled. This is the proper aspect ratio. So before you, I stop playing, I'm going to show you a really quick video on on how I fixed the uh, IRK Gold HDMI out from stretching the image. So what I did there is I hooked up what's called an M Classic. It's a video upscaler. So I plugged that directly into the HDMI out of the gold. I added um, a 10 foot extension onto the USB, not to power it off the USB right from the gold cabinet. 
and I just ran it to it, you know, and plugged that USB in external. And then I switched the M Classic to what's called uh, retro mode. And what it does is it immediately fixes the aspect ratio and puts it the proper way. Yeah, I already ordered mine. This is amazing. It's an expensive fix, but I, it's something that I already had. And I've been saying for a while that I thought that this would, would fix it. But I was I was fine, you know, doing all my streaming from the from the Gen yeah. One cabinet. But once Operation Wolf came out, it was it was time to try out my theory. I did it last night, and it worked. And look look how image, sharp the that image is. looks crisp. I mean, look it, at it, that, it dude. like sharpens the image too. I mean, it yeah, looks it, super it, super crisp, way better than upscales regular HDMI. it. It upscales it like beautiful, way higher than what the what the actual image is. So, truly yeah, premium, looked, truly looked premium. really clear there on the screen. But none of that is going to help me anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to matter. But <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, it can look. But it looks great. Yeah, Brooklyn. it can look fantastic. Brooklyn, but the gameplay is going to look horrible, Michael. But I'm also going to give you the sound crisp. Yeah. And I didn't the, even. It's crisp. This, the the white border here, yeah, that is for Sidden. So for our arcade, we crisp. have it so that we detect it. So if a Sidden Lycan is plugged in, then it and it's a Lycan game essentially, then it detects that. And it will open the border essentially for it and rescale the game. If it's not plugged in with the Sidden Light Gun, it it detects that as well. And when you launch it, it doesn't use the white border at that point. So, so let's move uh, my gameplay over. All right, are you ready to uh, all point and laugh at me while I play this? Yep. I'm gonna That's switch over. And right. I'm gonna give you right. some good sound too. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, give us some good sound. All right. But yeah, it looks really good. That looks fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait to to capture video off using this using this um, M Classic. I'm gonna definitely use this on my channel. Now is your audio now working? I don't think so. I don't hear anything. I think it is. I don't think it makes noise till you start up, huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make it silent until yeah. you start the game. Except for the... Uh, it, yeah. yeah it so like, you can turn it up a little bit, mode. Brooklyn, if you can. Can you turn the volume up just a little bit? Can you turn the volume up, Brooklyn? I don't know if you can hear us. Yeah. Probably not. Let's try to turn the volume up on our headset a little bit. There we go. I can hear it good now. There we go. Go, Brooklyn. Okay, like like I was just shooting everything that moved. Tell me how to play this game correctly, Michael, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So what should I, do I be doing while I'm playing this game? I do burst firing at least for this game. It typically yeah. like, depends. If it's a vehicle, like Nick was saying, you hold it in for sure. Do you like, get more for... points for shooting the vehicles or or I would say so, yeah. I don't pay attention <laughs> to the score. Same <laughs> what I'm stuff, yeah. survival. There are bonus I notice they throw grenades at you. Yeah. I mean, do you need to hit those grenades before they, they come up life? Yeah. yeah. Now, grenades, knives. Yeah. You have a small window to attack each enemy when they appear on the screen before they actually will do damage. Before they shoot at you. Right, so, so if you, you gotta be quick. Yeah. Because you, you can actually make it to the end of this level without actually taking any damage. You'll notice that, like, there's a lot of enemies on screen at some point. However, the only enemies they're actually attacking you are ones yes. that flash white. Those yes. are the ones you want to primarily oh. focus on. So, so like, the if flashing the white means that they're attacking. Okay. Yeah, so if a dude is just in the background and he's not flashing white, you don't necessarily have to take care of him yet because they'll go off scene and then they'll come back later. Okay. So that's really how you like stay alive in later levels is really like focusing on the white flashing players. It becomes more and more important. They attack. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, you, your health pool later on just gets dwindled down so fast. <laughs> yeah, but that's when you get to the village, the rest level. If you can get past the jungle and then get through the village, you heal pretty much full health. And I can't yeah. wait to watch you guys play because you're getting a lot further than I'm getting. So I'm gonna get so to see. So this new, one's new dicey because you you pretty much are near death near the end. There is a health power up near the end, so you have to make it there. So that's why you want to save your grenades for the first level. Yeah, so I did get to here. see the end boss of this screen once. That's that's the one that has the hostage, right? Yeah, it's the, yeah. Has the girl. Now, how do you kill that? How do you kill you him to, without hitting the hostage? Shoot him enough to kill. Yeah, be very good. Yeah, no, you, you like he puts the girl in front of him. Yeah, no, you have to shoot. Yep. For the first couple of shots, have to be to the left, and then he'll he'll move to the other side, so you shoot him on the right side. So he, yep. he alternates that. 
Now, with, with the grenades here, you want to try to use them when there's like a lot of it, uh, vehicles clustered together, so you can use like take like three out one yeah. go. Yeah, I'm just gonna right, point that, this out. That, that, this is not a, this is this is not a shoot 'em up. These are not screen clearing the grenades. Edge, they just they just have like a blast. Get that, that help, Brooklyn. They won't kill all the they won't kill all the baddies. They just kill like a circle. There's like a blast radius. Oh, he's done. 52-3. Zero zero. Sorry, but you are finished here. Oh man, good stuff, brother. He fought valiantly. But in the end, he succumbed to that insanity at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 52, I was I was good playing job, in here. Thanks. I was good. playing in here with you no think? sound because I don't have it. I have I have to to get really good sound from the game. I have to plug something in to plug in something to the headphone jack and turn the volume okay. all the way up. You can crank the sound a little louder, a little all bit. Right. It all can right. go well, a little I, louder. I, I figured it was it was loud enough. All right, so yeah. that's my score so far. Playing with the Sindin. Let's uh, bring in. Nix, center screen. All right. Let's see what he can do. Is there any audio? Is not. Oh, no, I turned it up. I turned it up. Is there no audio coming from my speakers? Yeah, let me reset the game because yeah, it's been sitting idle for a while. That's weird. Just reload it. Well, there's okay. It's working there. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, there we go. That's weird. Okay, we have audio. We're good. All right. Let's crank it a bit more so you can hear it a little bit better. I don't know how it's going Tomorrow, to I'm putting on the force feedback, the kickback, and everything. Yeah. And I'm going to just crank up the goal. Yeah. It's I good. cannot pass that second level. Yeah, I did earlier tonight. I won, I won quartered up to 161. I didn't use one bomb in the first level, and it didn't yeah, kick in don't. that little <laughs> bonus level in the middle that Brad got. Yeah, it's still hard to say if that's like if it's random or what. Nix is starting out strong. So you're good, no damage yet. So I see Ronan has my score up there. So I beat you, Brad, so far. making that first level look easy. There we go. Yes, we did. All right, here we go. This is the tough one. 60 enemies and then eight of those, and eight, like 16 eight of those boats. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you didn't get the bonus level. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, shot the nurses.
So you can run out of ammunition if you don't keep shooting oh, the yeah. little clips. Yep. I see it shows he has two clips left. So it's kind of like a risk doing rapid fire. Yeah. So, it, I, again, I think burst firing is better, but it all depends. I was doing a little of both on my playthrough. I was only, like, rapid firing on the tanks and helicopters. Dude, dude, I was straight up scar facing it. I was just shooting everything. Look at that. I never even got this far. Look at this. Yes, this is the first hostage. Oh, he no. killed the hostage. He killed huh? the hostage. He killed the hostage, but he still got through it. So, Stage can you shoot the guy that's surrendering? Uh, no, no. No. <laughs> no. no. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do here. The village. A little bit easier. Hopefully I can make it this, to the end. We're on, we're yeah, on level a, three. Village is, is easy street compared to level two. You you'll be fine. This game is is super impressive for a game that came out in the late eighties. That's what I'm I saying. Mean, I was like, blown away by this game. I love this game. I mean in the arcade. I mean, come on. It has girls in swimsuits just randomly running out in the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> What could be better than that? It's like Pamela Lee Anderson just running out in the middle of the game. Uh, see, now there's lots of little hostages and stuff running out. I know, the difficulties of, oh, ramping yeah. up. That's it. That's all she wrote. 94, 200. Man, one quarter? Respectable. Going, respectable. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, you just see me earlier, man. I did the 160. Yeah, we see your thousand. giant score over there. But oh, this that is was, the that only was, one that counts. Oh, no, that was multiple quarters, that gi giant score on the uh, leaderboard. 90, 94, 200 for Knicks. Good That's job. One, one quarter. All right. So let's bring up uh, I don't know if Michael. You're getting, I don't know if you're getting audio from me or not. That's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll talk our way through it. I think we're about to see a full a full uh, playthrough here. I don't no, know. there's no way. <laughs> Good job, Nix. All right, thank you, thank you. That was awesome. Respectable. Respect. Now we're going to get to see the, we're going to get to see the master. That King Crayle says terrible, Nix. <laughs> Not every playthrough is the same, brother. Yep. Nix is a machine. So Biggie D says, Rainwater says, was that the kid from Paperboy running across the screen? Right. Yeah. It could have been. We're going no in sound full, on Michael's we're going, gameplay, we're, but we're going it's in, fine. We're going in full silent mode here. We're going yeah. stealth ninja. I wasn't I wasn't prepared to. <laughs> That's it's okay. Fine. It's, it's fine. all good. It's all good. Focus on the gameplay. Michael's doing a solid run, not taking much damage. Strategically, he's burst firing. That is the way, apparently. I don't think I, I shot that truck on my first play. I can't remember if I've seen that. Picking up the extra ammo. Now, Brooklyn, he's gonna Brooklyn, get the I don't know though. if you can answer this, but like, can you reload or do you just have to run out of bullets for it to reload? It seems to just reload on its own. It like, you, don't actually you can have run out of ammunition if you're no, you not run out, shooting you run those clips. Out, you're, you're kind of screwed. You, you can only shoot the clips and when they appear, the game will be generous. I remember I ran out of ammo at the end of the game and I was going okay. up to the sky and shooting the helicopters before the boss uh. and i just noticed on the scoreboard there's like hostages and enemies and then you have what people helicopters and tanks yeah, that, yeah that's, that's total to clear you have to clear the level yeah oh that's pretty cool so that's why the a little bit about brutal, the mechanics of the, the game there's, there's six all right he didn't get the bonus level i can't figure out what it is that that did not get the coconut you level. got it brad I got it. It just you were like it just shooting. Me. Maybe you got to shoot. I the was nurses. going. I was going full on Scarface, just shooting everything. Yeah. Again. Now, does it take away points if you shoot the people with the stretcher? There's the paper boy. But I wouldn't call it a bonus though, because it takes away your health and, and ammunition for when you actually have to get back to the game. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't you know. Shoot the, I don't, I, I, oh, Michael's yeah. shooting the nurse. I think it's a hindrance, if anything. Okay. Yeah. And it does sneak up on you. Before you know it, you don't have any life. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that bonus level does. It takes some of your life. And then, boom, you get back into the next level and you have less life than what you could have had if you didn't have that bonus level. So I was what fortunate. do the vultures and pigs do? Extra ammo. 
extra the ammo. Pig, the pigs I'm not too sure. I've ever, Michael ever. out. I'm Is out. He out. I'm out. 40, I told you I was going to do too good on that one. Forty nine thousand. <laughs> Forty nine thousand. Someone wow. put that in the chat. Michael. Forty nine thousand for light. That's how it goes sometimes. See, John's talking a big game. Look, this ain't Teaching my game. I, I, nev- in here, man. I never talk myself I'm up pulling on this up game. on the Friday night arcade show. Dang, uh, man, our, our ringer is good. Nix is holding his own. We got the ringer. <laughs> All right, Brad. Well, it's time for you to put that sending down. And, oh, and let's man, see what are you, you can do. Joystick. Yeah, let's see what you no, can do. I have plugged it. What do I have to do to make sure it goes to the joystick? You don't have Just you play have it. You, just play it. you can literally, you can, can keep the plugged, plugged in and, and I can play the down. joystick? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah just yeah. don't have the gun pointing at the screen. That's all. Okay. Just yeah, put yeah, the gun, gun down. Over here. Okay, let me put it on. Okay, let's see. Hold on a second. That's the wrong one. There it is. Okay, I'm good. In fairness, I lost a lot of blood today in real life, so... I don't blame it on that. Stop making excuses. <laughs> <laughs> no, well done though. It's a tough game. It really is. It's always that second level is either like it's hit or miss for me. You either it is. Three it is. Yeah, it's I a was tough fortunate game. that I was fortunate to get through this time, but yeah, the village got me. All right, Brad. I better not hear any trigger pulling. What is that? All right, that's a stick. No, okay, you could tell the difference. <laughs> So I don't know who's keeping score because I literally I am, I I'm not even paying attention. I got this okay. All right now I'm in first place followed by you Brooklyn, then Michael, and then Brad. This 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 stick version could make a break. It's gonna break me big time. Christ, I might do worse on this thing. I've, I've only played it with trackball. So who had the lowest on the first run with Descendants? Was it Brad? Yeah. What did Brad get? Uh, 46,550. Oh, he's out of ammo. Shoot the mag, shoot the mag. You can shoot the mag. Shoot the mag. They're so hard to shoot the joystick. <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's panicking at this point. I would yeah. just go for that other mag. Well, shoot that shoot that bird, that crow, whatever that thing is. Vulture. Oh, the vulture, yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. If somebody gets like the free ammo bullet too, that'll be fun. Because it's super oh, random. Oh my All right, I got it. I got that with them. He ran out of ammo. He did. Wow. Wow. He fought valiantly. All right, eighteen five five. All right. Well, that means it's, wow. it's my turn to go back in. Play this wow. with the sticks. Okay, with a grand total. That is score. way harder. It was so much easier with the sending. Yeah, quicker reflexes. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to it. But I wanted us to. I want to do that little twist, and I wanted us to have to play it both ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank All right. you, Hollywood, for cheering so the, for me. So, the, yeah. so the, over, the the overall total score to beat right now is sixty five thousand one hundred. Wait, Nick, what did you get in the first round? Well, the, this is the this is the combination of Brad what he just did there from his first score to second score. So that's that's his grand total. Okay. So that's the score to beat. So, Brooklyn, you you just need to probably just not even score twenty thousand. But yeah, you can already tell the difference. Yeah, the sending is so much more natural. Hey man, I'm part of it. I can't wait to get it. I'm I celebrating. I haven't, played, I haven't played it with the, uh, the joystick yet. Again, it's, it's doable because we've made it through the joystick to the end. It's just, it's definitely a different experience though. Shout out to the people that can make it through to the end of this well, game Brooklyn, using come nothing on. but a joystick. Extra respect. Back to my poor QA team. We're still feeling it, I think. Oh, 
like night and day. I'm probably gonna do the same. It almost looks like a little cola bottle for your health. Yeah, I still don't know what like the health. And it has a P be. in it. What is that all about? Well, it's Why like does it have the letter P in it? I think power. It's power. Oh, power. Or like power. That makes strength. sense. It, because it's a physical strength. That's what Man. It but like, I don't know what it's. Oh, we to got be. it. Brooklyn is bringing it. He just bringing it with some joystick play, proving that Operation Wolf is completely playable with the joystick and the send and light gun. Boy, it's a good thing you saved the worst for first. Oh, that was embarrassing. I love the chickens and the girls and the crazy things that run out. These games are so cool. You, you know, you know, another game that's like this is um, uh, Cabal in Blood Brothers. They just have the coolest, they have the coolest um, things that just randomly appear while you're playing. Nice. Got we got Brooklyn coming in with 38,850. 38,850 for Brooklyn yeah. Menace. What's his, what did you add him up? 38,850. Yep. Overall score is 91,150. I would say it's definitely, it's, you can definitely play it with the, with the sticks. It's not, yeah. it's actually not that bad. Obviously, you, you know, it's great it's having different. the send in yeah, and everything. I mean, it's, it's different. Um, you can't you can't just hold the button down and rapid fire. You gotta yeah. and that that's at least what I just think I noticed. You had to you had to keep hitting the button to do it. You, it's not like on the send and you can just hold the button and it will rapid fire. It it rapid fires with A. Did it? Yeah, it I don't you know. can hold it down, it worked for yeah. me. Yeah, just okay. hold it down. Yeah. I'm playing with no sound, so Yeah, it I, worked. I, you could hold it down and it would rapid fire. All right, so I guess That's why I ran out of bullets quickly. Are you up next, next? Who's yes, up next? I, yeah, I am up next. next. All right, you ready to play this with sticks? It's How am I doing so far? Pig. Is Who, it good or bad to shoot the pig? Rainwater good, just well, asked. It's well, going to well, shoot the pig. Right, right now. Shoot the in, pig. You're in second place because I, I still, I have ninety four thousand on my first run, so I, I still have more points after. How does this guy? I run. literally played Nine, twice and he's uh, still beating. Not, me. not, not the brag, not the brag, but you know, I got ninety four thousand in my you first get past run. That second level, it's gonna happen. Because <laughs> I think the All boss right. will go twenty k. In the yeah, first, or in the yeah. second level, you get, you get massive points. All right, now the high the score is pretty high on this game. Huh? It's like a hundred and sixty something just to get oh, like, yeah. to the high score on the machine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like but your that's stock like, high score is pretty that's high. That's like stage three though. You stage know? three that's is about really that. that okay. Yeah. So if you play it, you're going to get there eventually. Yeah, you'll start just to stick get with it. Don't oh, give did up. The, did the audio cut out again? It did. That's weird. No, I don't think the audio starts to the game starts, huh? No, there should no, be no, some no. audio. It, it should have been Is audio. There? there should have been audio. That's weird when I just let it sit idle. That's yeah, because this is it. Time too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You should hear this in the, in okay, the track cool. mode. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Is he like duct taping grenades to his leg? Yeah, yeah. like that's not brilliant. Like he just it, That doesn't seem like a there. very good uh, military yeah, exactly. strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to duct tape these grenades to my leg. There we go. We got Nick's coming in so far with a significant lead. Yeah. T's letting me know from our K talking Star Wars reviews. He says, Papa Brad, not so good. Dude, the game fight got me. I mean, Brooklyn just showed so many games. I got, I got quite a buzz going. This is a fun one. It's doing pretty good. Even though we can't see them, you can't fake it if you're on the sticks because you see how smooth mm -hmm. it's going? Yeah, you can see the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
All right. You made it through Michael, level surprise. one. You, you were right. I, you, you guys did balance it out. Like you kind of got it to that yeah, perfect playable. level. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. Too slow. Yeah. No, it's, playable. It's, 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 it's very similar to the track wall. Mm -hmm. I played it with. Yeah. You just, it's, it's a feel thing. You just got to yeah. get used to it. Yeah. Ichabod says three beers. And we're going into. Oh, you got the bonus level. You got the bonus. And them level. coconuts. You didn't get the helicopter one too. You got the uh, the guys. You got the guys, and you got the coconuts. The vulture. Mix is making some points. Well, I missed that coconut. I always say, like at the end, there's that stuff you can't shoot, but you can see it, but it, you can't get any points. Oh, anymore. you gotta be quick. Two thousand points for getting a coconut. Oh, no. Paper boy shooting, shooting the paper boy. There goes rainwater, the pig. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Did I just say that out loud? He was talking about the pig. Yeah. I got those. Get those. Get those. He's doing really well. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm well. yet to pass this second level. Even when I played it over at Arcane Headquarters, this is where I lost. Yeah, I got to see the boss once in the second level. But that's good, because like if I could immediately beat Almost the game... Almost made it to the boss. If I can immediately yeah. beat the game, I know I'm not going to get much value out of it. What do you think, Nix, after playing it with the with the sticks? Because I, I, I always feel, I feel like that anyone with Ascendant is not even going to think about trying that. But. It's, it, no, it's, 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 it's not bad. You just have, It's a feel thing. Sometimes I was over, I was moving it, overshooting it. But and it's rainwater's a putting up yeah. the pig emoji. No, it's playable. All right, well, let's see what Michael can Absolutely. do playing with the sticks. Completely playable with the sticks. I like. I Dude, it'd be funny. Boss. It'd be funny if he got to like level six using the stick. No Come way. on, Michael, There's show no us how it's right done. Now, now, now right. show us how it's better? done, Michael. Do, I, so, do we do we play better with the gun? Absolutely, we all do. The scores yeah. prove it. The gun, the gun, literally, the gun was so natural. It wasn't like, that much I better. Immediately I, fell in love with the game. Like the first, right after playing it, it just feels great. It's like look, the first time you play Duck Hunt. You know, no, it just feels no, every, good. It works. Everybody, the scores don't lie. Everybody I'm not trying to complain, but I kind of screwed myself because I went. Right in between levels, I went to switch the view on the show, and oh. the level had already started, so I, I yeah. kind of screwed myself by doing that. Yeah. You know, sometimes I adjust my sound, and I mess up. But substantially better all across the board. Mm -hmm. See, he's playing. He's accurate with it. He's doing good. Yeah, because sometimes you overshoot it. Yeah, he's going for the whole yeah, time. But he knows, he, just off. he knows. Yeah. He's he knows, he knows because he's, he's had who knows how many months <laughs> yeah. you know, testing this out. So he knows he has the feel down already for the sticks. But I feel like if yeah. anyone who doesn't, you know, the, whether you have a gold and don't have a ascendant light gun at the moment. Yeah, try it out. See if you like it. You, you can yeah, try you can every game play, too man. for 30 minutes. You know, you got 30 minutes to check it out. It's kind of like it, it turns it into a different type of game, you know? Console fanboys asking, so how do you like it, Brad, in Brooklyn? We love I it. love it. With Ascendant, oh, yeah. with Ascendant, it's amazing. It feels great. I mean, it's fantastic with Ascendant. And it's easy. Just plug it in. To me, I'm going to get the, the full experience go. tomorrow when I could crank up the gold cabinet and, yeah. and turn on the kickback on the Ascendant. Dude. If I would have done that tonight, this show would have been way entertaining because you would have yeah, heard Brooklyn, my, Brooklyn, my I put out a, I put out a sneaky video, a quick one. The first time I played it, I had my volume cranked up, and it was just my very first. It was the very first game I played, and I just filmed it. I put it up on YouTube. Yeah, Check this it out. thing is loud, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah. I cranked my is. system up. It, it, I had everything cranked up. It was awesome. What an experience! All right, let them go. Can't hit the ammo. Oh no! And this is how Michael. This is how you show up on the on the uh, leaderboards too, as light. Yeah. He's doing good. Yeah. 44,000, doing good. He's got lots of life left. He's got one I bomb. He's got one bomb he in reserve. That, uh, there he goes. That That's it. I don't That's know. It. So, like, what, what happened here? <laughs> Ran out of ammunition, just like Papa Brad. He scar-faced it. He used too much ammunition. And you know the funny thing is? is, is the bad guy now. score is very comparable to his, for, for both the gun and the joystick. He plays just as well. Yeah, it's just a weird... <laughs> 
Usually guns a little easier for sure. So, so what happened? Who won? All I right. believe. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure. Yeah, well, won. yes, I I did win, but uh, in second place we have we have Michael with ninety six thousand eight hundred fifty. Congratulations! Did Michael. I at least get third? So say you, you got a third with ninety one thousand one hundred fifty. That's yes. right, Brad. Papa Brad, yes. sixty five thousand. Yes, third place, Brad. Yes. Beat Brad. That's all that matters. Congratulations. Yeah, that that's is all that matters. I mean, as long as you beat me, you know, you felt like you've accomplished something. <laughs> well yeah, done, by, everybody. By that tomorrow, he'll have a, a full playthrough on the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome job. See that, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's very strong recoil on that one. Really strong. I did yeah, that too, but it will run out of steam after a while if you keep. Yeah, doing that's that. the solenoid on it. That's like the hard. And that's sin. I, I, yeah. yeah, I it. think it yeah, does yeah. that so it doesn't burn it out. You know, like mm -hmm. like I think, I think it could the, burn it out, the, huh? The actual coil inside the spring—it's a spring essentially, right? So I think that just loses it loses uh, tension essentially. Yeah, and then you have to let it go, and then it, it recharges kind of quick. Yeah, that's awesome. I love the sending gun is amazing. I mean, the actual sending gun that works with it is amazing. We'll see. Maybe Glenn Simmons can uh, can fix that a little bit. The solenoids staying less powerful or staying full power the whole time. We'll see. So he has a he has like his own kind of light gun coming out. GRS is GRS is working with Sinden directly. Yeah. Nice. So like I'm looking forward to like his. Yeah, I like Glenn. His, uh, Glenn's cool. The whole deck that he might have. You know, it seems mm -hmm. like he has like a push pull spinner on there. Push pull track spinner. Pull. Track pull. Yeah. The push and pull spinner would be so great can, for Gox. He's going to have the gate switcher where we can go from perfect four way control to perfect eight way control. Yeah, I have button. the gate. I am spoiled. I have <laughs> the gate switcher right now. I can use it. I modded my cabinet. But this is like you'll just be able to plop this control panel in there and you Done. can go from perfect four way to perfect eight way control. So for nice. people that are into retro games, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put that one on my Gen 1. You know, I would, I would for sure. That's where I have my four way to eight way gate switcher, and I love it, man. I love playing all those retro games with the correct Damn. controls. I might yeah. need another capture card to switch between the two cabinets. <laughs> At least but capture cards it. are like 10 bucks. You can <laughs> so get a I mean, capture yeah, man, card like, off the Amazon for like 20 bucks. It works yeah. great with the iArcade. You don't yeah, need yeah, an look, expensive capture card. My my video Especially quality for the from the cabinet look really sharp through the M Classic. Mm -hmm. That thing is amazing. Yeah, that thing is really cool. Yeah. Cause um, like I was comparing just footage that looked really good off the Gen One when I wasn't running through that, it really makes it crisp and and even like kind of yeah. Like I can't wait. I can't wait to get my bit. M Classic. There's I'm on board. I'm on board. Right yeah. What's nice is you know for streaming that's going to be the ticket. You can use it for other things too. Oh, besides yeah. this, yeah. it's supposed to be good for the Nintendo, huh? The Switch, um, the, the Switch. Anything, yeah. yeah kind of works on anything people use it you have so many retro consoles uh brad you'll you can hook it up to your dream oh, I know. I it's so just kind of like stuff it's insane what it does cast, is like all that stuff that i stream if you watch it like what it does seems minimal but when you see it like the difference it, it just it just cleans up the image it does a great job try with the yeah, projector. rainwater's trolling in the chat he says i arcade platinum will have the gate switcher stock platinum. and maybe a splinter a, a splinter a spinner. I arcade platinum. Good gosh, Michael. Michael's Brad. like, please give me a break. Platinum. Did we we just talked about Harvard I arcade today. platinum? We just talked about Harvard today. No platinum coming. Dude, they got you guys coming. You heard it here first. Evercade you heard consoles, it here first in the Friday like night everything. arcade. All kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, right? we've got we've got we've got um consoles. That's right. The I arcade's gonna be a console. You guys are really good though at like you know, at like keeping secrets, huh? Yeah, Go we on, try to be man. we try to be pretty locked down, but at the same time, we'd like to tell you guys as much as we can. So yeah. that's why we do the show. I, I gotta be honest, half the time, like I don't even care to know. I'm, I don't care. I like, almost I like either, the surprise. Like, fun. I do like the yeah. surprise. It gives me something to look forward to. Like I feel like if I knew everything, it wouldn't be as exciting. Yeah, especially if you know months in advance and stuff like that too. It's yeah. So we get some but, of that but stuff. That doesn't we, mean I want you to keep me in the dark either, but I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> I but I like when yeah. you guys did I love, the, I love the arcade. I like when you guys last year, like that one night you guys just went nuts. It's just game after game. When when oh, you yeah. when you announced Moon Patrol, 
Mm-hmm. Like you just announced a lot of games. Yeah, going to give the time. Yeah, like, it was, it was fun. Yeah, it was. Fun. I did like. Bad. I did like when they had the schedule. Like the schedule and the games yeah. pretty much came. And then we even got some early. Mm-hmm. We got a few games. We got released yeah, like, early. Yeah, we weren't even surprise, expecting to get them, and we dropped. got them early. It was like Christmas, and we got the game early to play. Yeah, yeah. Ninja Ninja Spirit came like two weeks before Christmas, uh, which was two weeks early or three weeks early. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Like if you could do that again, I'm just going to tell you as a, as a as a you know player of I Arcade and a fan of I yeah. Arcade, that was that was huge. That was a really good. I like to do like a roadmap and a schedule when we can. But it's just we can't all the time too. It's less often than not right now, just with how licensing works for us at our company. It's a little different, right? So even though we have certain things planned, sometimes it's kind of spur of the moment a lot of the time. So like, it's like, I can announce this, I can announce that. I can't announce this, I can't announce that. So I can't really always make a schedule, which is the problem. So when I can, that's when we do it, like in those situations. So. Yeah, you had the whole group of games. You had uh, you got a Tokyo, lot of pans in the fire at once, huh? Blood Brothers. Yeah, like you probably got independent companies. Indies are probably working mm-hmm. on games for iArcade. You've got all kinds of things yeah. going on. Dude, every one of those games was fun. Like we really enjoyed yeah, right, games. Those games. Yeah, that was yeah. like Vigilante and stuff too. Yeah, I love that yeah. game. That's fun. I, I get iRam games are so underrated for some reason. iRam is like one of my top companies for arcades that I never honestly played in the arcade, which is crazy because they're so good. So, what are my scores still up there? I think it was in the top two or three in the Vigilante. Nick's oh, he, was like ridiculous in, in Blood Brothers and Cabal. Played an insane amount of I haven't oh, the tad, both the of tad games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I, I was talking about. Games. That when you guys like announced the timeline for those, I enjoyed every one of those games. Yeah, I, I was too. familiar with everyone except for Heated Barrel. That was the only one I had never played before. I played through that now, I think two or three times. It just it's fun. It's a it's a great it's a little game. running gun. Yeah. I just like I like games like that where they they're just not gonna make games like that anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like the the characters. Yeah, this is what I love about IRK. Great. They're just there's, there's so much competition. It always makes you go back. Like, look, Vigilante. Look at that. I've been bumped oh, to number three. The sequel to Kung Fu Master. Look at that. We've got two people with the the, the, the maximum score. Vigilante, yeah, I, beat max, that, I beat that one. I, I only played max that score, like once or twice. Max score. Point push. <laughs> one game I think I hold. I'm going to hold my record. Oh, Brad, Michael. Brad, the, the completely. People, you just, he did like a cheat. Well done. He just kept let, letting the characters keep spawning. I was gonna say, yeah, there is. Yeah, he stayed yeah, in I one space. Really yeah, and just that's how you get that score. That's, a strategy. Uh, cheater. that's how you do that. Bad dudes at the end. You like yeah, stay there for like strategy. two hours. Yeah. yeah. It's it's weird. There's actually weirdly like not a lot of exploits in arcade games. Surprisingly enough, a lot of times you think that there would be, but there's typically not. No, because they want your money. Oh, <laughs> keep keep putting the quarters in. <laughs> that's a that's a fun one though. Um, I I like the 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 theme of that game. The mm-hmm. There you go. Game. Okay, I'm challenging everyone in the IRK community right now. It's time to take Papa Brad out. Am I on that? Yeah. Number I'm one in Pop Flamer. No one's even coming oh, close. I don't even have I'll that. I'll tell you what. Anyone that beats me in this game. I will give them so any hard. piece of merch off of my store. You can look at my store. You can pick the most expensive piece of merch, and I will send it to you right. for free. You're not going to get past the first level. Come take me out in Pop Flamer. This is a great classic game from the you know an '80s era game. That one and Naughty Boy. Naughty, Naughty Boy. Boy. Naughty Boy have max score. That's I don't know how he did on. that. Well, I might have to give it a try. They're fun, man. I like. Sometimes like you'll look at the picture of a game, a still picture, and you just Can't pass on it. That. Yeah. That's what happened with like Zero Eyes. Like the the Yeah, uh, Zero Eyes is actually a good game though. Like yeah, we look played at the that. score. It's like a nine thousand uh uh-huh. nine hundred ninety nine one hundred forty. Take me out. I dare That's like you. Mr. Miami Cuddle's favorite game on the Come IRT. take me out really? in this game. He loves that one. Yeah. So I love this he game. He requested that we Pop play it. We played it like two or three weeks ago. Cuddles on one the modern games, but then I'm just get, flexing with yeah. these old 80s retro He games. loves that I mean, one. Yeah. I did do a show called the Arcadians Retro mm-hmm. where I talked about these games. These games are Pop fun. Don't show. write them Hold off. On. Hold on, Michael. There we go. Sorry. Go, there. Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Brad is too good at those games. I don't know how he figures them out. 
but I mean, like, it's any '80s game, like even Miss Pac-Man, like 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 the arcades anonymous guys were shocked how good I was at Miss Pac-Man. I mean, it's just something about '80s games. I just love these. I still collect Atari cartridges, but I love these '80s games. And the the arcade is a balance. You get the new, you get the really old retro games. You get a little bit of everything. That's why I like it. Shout out to Console Fanboy with that 999 Super Chat. Uh, it's great to see Michael playing games with his friends, always listening to what customers want and delivering new products. Refreshing to see someone that doesn't lie to their customers. <laughs> Hashtag respect. Yeah, I don't know who that. he's talking about, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he's talking right, about. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. But thank you for the super thank chat. Boy. I'm sure that we'll pay for Brooklyn's next beer. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, like I like like I was telling Michael before, like this show. Like it, this is not like you come over here. We're hanging out. We're playing yeah. games. It's not about stream. like the hard hitting questions. We well, just kind of yeah. like hang out yeah. and have fun. Yeah. That's what I like too. I, I mean, I, we're, we're all we fun, no shows, drama. Stuff. Yeah, we got enough new shows and things like that too. It's nice to just play games, honestly, because that's what we make these for to be played, right? So absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's 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 part of the whole theme of this show is we that we enjoy getting together every week. We look forward to Fridays, whether the games that come out we are happy about them or not someone likes them yeah we, we enjoy the not every game for everyone you we, know not every game for everyone but there's something for everyone playing that's them against like. each other talking about them so you know that's what that's what we do here every week yep and we yeah. take in all that feedback too we look i i see all the games in chat all the time too so oh yeah i mean don't when, you guys worry we know like cuddles like dude Why like not? he'll have a list oh yeah you, like and the they're good games year. too. They're always good games they too. Are. It's just always, again, licensing can be tricky too. It's sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's super hard, sometimes it's just so obscure that it's beyond anything logical that you could yeah. ever think of. And we got all the Galacticon and Saturn. I mean, those yeah. games are so awesome. I mean, I mean like, Saturn was a nice one because Saturn literally, I think, took me like two weeks with Maybell real quick to just be like ported over. So and we people knew love Saturn was coming, but I, was, I, I think I was, Biggie D said it's one of his favorite games. Is it still one it of your is. favorites? He Biggie said he D? plays I that, every, that every day. If it isn't, it should I be. love that game. It's just, it's it's you know, some people say it's better than Robotron. I don't know if I can do the sacrilege of saying that, but it is I've definitely just as it good. It it's just as good as Robotron. It as a, a twin stick shooter in that style, especially. So in a lot of ways it's better because you have you have the randomization where you don't know what's like Robotron, everything's in a set pattern, you know. So, mm -hmm. like, once you learn the game mechanics, like, it just repeats over and over. But Saturn, every level is randomized. So, it's, you know, never know what you're going to get. Plus, you got the bosses. You got little keepers that jump in there. I, like I love it. those keepers. That was the coolest thing the first time I saw one. I mean, Cuddle's bringing up Asteroid Arcade. Um, he sent me this game. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I can tell I'm going to enjoy it. It starts out very simple. You could tell the developer has a sense of humor, like, jokes around yeah. A lot with the little things and uh no I, I i didn't give up on it yet it's just that when i got it it was so late at night i only got like one or two chances to play it mm -hmm. or else i would i would have been up all night but i could see i i could see i'm gonna enjoy it yeah i know but our i would say community we love gunsuit guardians gunsuit guardians gunsuit that, guardians is very popular that, with, with this little community one, of people Michael? we hang with everyone's playing that game i've yeah. never played it still but i i am fully aware of this game yes yeah, it's really good. A lot in this game now. I mean, they took that Vampire Survivors style game, but they added a few things to it. It's got great retro sounds to it, and man, man, like we, like we got like a whole little club going, you know. Like mm -hmm. Cuddles will bring up these games, and then we all start playing them, and go, you know. So we've been having fun with a lot with a lot of those games. I usually will at this time of the show wind up playing one. You know, yeah, but man, yeah, Gun to Guardians, it's that is really good. Something about those games, like they just have that addictive quality to it, and I think if any one of them lands on the arcade, even if 
some people think, oh, what is this? I'm not going to like it. Of course. Once always- they play it and get yep. it, it's they're these style games that when you're not playing Sucks them, you're in. thinking about, about playing, playing them. You're it, planning yep. your strategy on the next time that you're going yep. back in. So not not to change the subject, but like in the Tetris movie that they just put out, the Tetris movie that just came out, I watched that um like last week. And it's funny, they talked about the Tetris effect where people like when they play the game a lot, they'll actually see the blocks in their sleep. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Yep. All right, fellas. Good. I think we did it. I think I think this was a success. I mean, I Michael did win. Wow, yes, that, that was yeah. successful. So we got great. I got some kind of revenge for that snowboard championship loss. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Michael. Yeah, it, shows, it, it shows that, you know, I arcades in touch with the community, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, we wouldn't be here without you guys too. So of course, and we do. I know it sounds like it seems like it might fall on deaf ears all the games and stuff all the time too. It does not. I promise you that. It's just you gotta be patient. You no, know, things I, take time. Like know, like we're patient. Yeah. What is it like? People, we're, we're spitting out titles. Go. Sorry, I'm I don't know. What I'm, You're I'm pressing buttons here. Wow. Buttons. But I'm just saying, like like we're yeah. you're getting hit with a hundred different titles yeah requests yeah you know I've seen those. If, like you got of course Carter, there with all, total? Is it with all the modern retro ish? stuff that he plays on steam something on the i arcade there. right now or 350 something around there there's like just below 400 right there's now. like so many games on the i arcade and like the, the the library is so packed like people don't even know what they can get i think is you know i think i arcade's struggle is to get people to realize all the games they already have too there's yeah. so many good games on the machine that you can get. Well, yeah. Plus, you have to feed both audiences, right? Of both the retro, retro, the retro, modern. Right? Yeah. So some people specifically, exclusively want retro titles. We understand that. And some people want exclusively modern titles, and a lot of people want a mix, right? So it's it's about it's probably about like 60, 40 towards modern. I would say honestly, at least if yeah. not a little bit more, right? Yeah. But then on top of that, you kind of you still want a mix of everything, right? So it's like if we get like major major triple a uh retro titles too of course like a lot of people even with if they want the modern games they still want those titles too so even if they say they're not a lot of times they do um so we're totally aware of that so it's kind of a thing that we always have to fight with right so it's do you spend more time doing this do you spend more time doing that the answer is we do both honestly too and we do contact all these developers all the time too it's and again us just contacting developer or you contacting developer too even and them contacting us it doesn't always mean it's a yes either too um it's usually not on our side it's usually their side, they either don't have the development time or the resources and stuff themselves. It really depends too on some of those projects. So some sometimes it can be easy. Sometimes it can be very difficult. Even with old school licensing games too, it can be such a pain sometimes where it's like the most obscure title you think should be so easy. And then all of a sudden there's two other people out of the woodwork who own rights to something or mm-hmm. like Sony, Sony Music owns a, a bite, a, sight, a sound bite in this song. And you're just like, so now we got to pay Sony for that and stuff like that too. That's happened before. So it's, yeah, there's always things that come into yeah. play. But. Shout out to for like, 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 you know, I, I love retro games and you really do a great job optimizing the games. Like they don't come out. They've really, they play great on the arcade. We try. And yeah. the emulation and the optimization you're doing is excellent. I just want to point that out. Like I'm some of these games, I've been playing them for a long time, but I really enjoy them the most on the arcade because you've really curated them well and you have them running well on the machine. Yeah, I mean, that comes from a lot, too, because I come from a big QA background as well, especially from, like, AAA Bethesda and stuff and Blizzard and things. So, like, I know when games play well and when they don't, or, like, at least... To yeah, you know how to look for everyone. things like like frame rate stuttering and, and you know, things that, things that would ruin the game experience. But, That's a lot of things, you know. too. You learn where to pinpoint these things or, like, where there's, like, pressure points, essentially, right? So, like, in certain titles, especially, um, where you might have issues, and then you kind of look into that specifically, right? Yeah. So it's not just looking at the game as a whole, but looking at specific points too, you get used to that kind of stuff too. But Plus, beyond that, you know, it, yeah. For us old school gamers, like, you know, like old Papa Brad here, we do love leaderboards and you give us a plethora of leaderboards. There's so many games you can more. score chase on iArcade. Yeah. It's just fantastic for that. And I right. want to thank you for that. So for leaderboards sure. mean something to like the retro gamers. Mm-hmm. We like to, you know, I, in the community small enough that you know a lot of people. Yeah, which makes it even cooler, you know, when you're playing the games. 
Yeah, and we'll keep adding more leaderboards too. And I want again, we want to make more like robust leaderboards. Um, that's that's definitely on the list too. You know, I think uh, Kev Grab brought it up today too, where if you could see like light gun versus joystick gameplay for the score and things like that, um, little details. Those those ones are a little technically trickier, but they're not impossible. And like plus, I just want other things. Maybe you get like seasonal leaderboards and things like that too. So different competitions and different ways to play to bring you kind of back into playing those games to to give the games more life too. Because especially with arcade games, sometimes you can beat them and. 20 30 minutes right and then it's kind of like what do you do after that right so to add more longevity to the game of course you want to add more features to it as best as you can or, or other ways of playing right so yeah so we'll keep doing that kind of stuff too it's just i know you don't see it quite yet necessarily too but these are 100 percent things that that we think about all the time too that we're working on different features and stuff for you guys so we yeah. just can't talk about it'd be cool about them. obviously you can't talk about it but it'd be it'd be nice to have little challenges in certain games uh, things you have to do built built into it like weekly weekly stuff that we can do we try to you yeah. know we try to get creative with with all our shows the way we we play the games each against each other but yeah it would be amazing yeah. having it built the, right the other the thing we hear just as ears in the community is you know and i'm sure you've heard this a gazillion times so you can scoff when i say it but a lot of people want to see some kind of lobby or some way of seeing yeah. who's playing what games where on the machine. Yeah, we've talked about that before. That's 100% coming. And I know that's 100% probably on your roadmap of things to do. But um, that's something we hear a lot from just more, uh, you know, more people robust talk friends to, features to is definitely on the list for online play, especially right beyond actual online co connectivity uh, being even more improved than it is now too. But yeah, different uh, other features I can't talk about there too. But yeah, like better friends, friends features, essentially, right? Jump and play kind of things, especially right? Like, Papa Brad's online. Okay, cool. Like I'm going to jump. He's playing double dragon and he's, his room is open and I can just jump into that too. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we're working on that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Cause right now we're doing it, you know, shows going on people in the chat room. Mm. Someone may mention they want to play a game online and that's how they, they find someone. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people we're kind of friends now. So like we all, we all can message each other, you know, and say, Hey, you want to play, you know, you want to play a round of this game and we'll play it, you know? Yeah. And of but, course, like certain things are certain things are easy, certain things are harder to. Uh, nothing's ever easy in software, unfortunately. <laughs> things bugs always happen, but like basic things like seeing your friends online and stuff like that too, right? Especially like those are definitely things that that we we know full heartedly we can we can implement. It just it takes time because of course we have other projects going on too, and like we have to figure out what is priority and things like that. So because we are still a small team, but. It will be coming things like that, more robust friends features, and like an online lobby, a global lobby. We've talked about already too. That's all mm. coming. Um, yeah, I, want, I want to read this one little comment from Raven, who's a huge friend of the Arcadian show. He's been on a, a lot of our shows in the chat, but he says lobbies, friend features don't need to be robust. We, if we can see an open game, we can manually open the game and go there. We just yeah. need information to start is what he's looking for. Yep. That's the, and yeah, that's of course like, that's like level one of a release too, with like a little bit more than that essentially probably. Right. That's, that's the base level that we'll be getting to first. And then beyond that, we would build off of that. Yep. Of course, I'm sure you're going to a lot of the smaller developers that have good games mm -hmm. to see if we can get them on I arcade Miami yeah. uh, tiger arcade. The smaller devs seem like they would have a lot, be a lot more supportive. It's, it seems like it, right? So the but maybe problem, not, right? Maybe they don't have the resources. It's, it's usually time. So it depends. It, again, this all depends. Uh, every developer is so different. Every licensing deal is so different for us too, right? So like a smaller developer, a lot of times what you'll, you'll have is they're either a hobbyist. So they have a full-time job on top of game development. So they just don't have the time to devote to it. Or they've already moved on to another project and they just don't feel like doing it anything with that game too that happens a lot honestly too um especially if it's like a game that's multiple years old specifically for those kind of games uh with a smaller developer they're just like well you know it'd be cool but like maybe the next game who knows right and then maybe they're working on that project and then we sign that project on right instead um that's a that's a stepping stone too that we do a lot so it just depends but yeah again it's never as easy as you think it is. So I, I wish it was. I wish it was. And it, logic never seems to work out either too, right? Again, a smaller developer you'd think would be so easy sometimes. It just it just isn't for one reason or another. So, but yeah, I hear you. Brad Rage quit. He did. He's done. Yeah. He, he's out. <laughs> you know, he took the L tonight in Operation Wolf. I know, right? I'm surprised by that too. I can't believe I died in stage two, Nix. I'm not going to lie with the like on. <laughs> I can't believe oh, I didn't at least get to the hostage. I knew I it was going to be between you and the tough stage. Yeah.
Oh. I think I might have a chance. I just need to play a little bit more. Yeah. Well, Michael, I, I appreciate I, everything I, you do. I'm, oh, you know, yes. I'm like 50 50. I know that a lot of people are calling for like the, the modern, the modern games. I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of like both. Like when I got it, I was yeah. really under the impression of more like of the retro games, mm -hmm. but some of these modern ones that they're, you know, that they're finding. Yeah, they, they, they are a lot of fun to play. So thank you. But yeah, I know it's like, you're in a weird position. It's like, you almost can't, you someone's going to be disappointed every week. It's like, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's again, you know, like, like, like that one game that was, games, and, yeah, and it, that some games are divisive. Like I love that Castlevania clone, that awakened evil game. I love that game. Yeah. I played it. So I finished it, but like you played it and you didn't like it, but like I saw like immediately, it was like, this is basically Castlevania. Yeah. So, I, I mean, not every it's not game. That everyone, I didn't but, like it. Know. It's, it's one of those games where it's frustrating. I'll be more comfortable playing that with like a controller. It's fair. That you would be I mean? cool. If I was having like, trouble hitting like the stairs. Dough, I was falling like if you could plug in an eight bit dough uh, and play, but you know, but then again, it's an arcade. Like, but I think I, I think the developer what they did with that game what, is pretty amazing. You know, yeah, and I, I really like the I like all the bosses in the game. That was one of the coolest things getting through all the bosses. It's, it's the look of that game turns people off, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the problem, right? Don't judge a book by its cover, kind of thing. But like the gameplay itself is it's very solid once you get into it, and the music is really good. But yeah. I know that the look immediately. I like the look. It's, I actually right. kind of. Like I think the look. I, I think like they the should have went. I think they should either went more retro, more like the original Castlevania, or more modern, so, like and made it like a more modern graphic skin or go very retro with a more that's, thing, that's, style. that's a solo that's a solo indie developer right it's just them so like they're, the a, they're a really good designer and programmer but they're not a good artist like that's just how it goes everybody can't be perfect at everything right so like the art works for the game it's totally fine but like there's two brothers right so like you know you can't you can't do it all right you just they just might not be like the best artists necessarily right so like you can't just be like why not do this art style? Because we, we can't, right? Kind of thing. So that's how that goes sometimes. But like, yeah, I, shout yeah, out we, to them for they love beheading the enemies. Though there's oh, yeah. more, there's more beheadings in that game than I think any game I've played in quite a while. Yeah. But uh, you know, like I said, not every game's gonna be for everyone. But you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're offering something for everyone, and I think that is nice. admirable. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a, a super chat coming in. I'm gonna read it off. Big money, big prizes. I love it. Okay. All right, shout out again to console fanboy. This time with a 499 super chat. If Running Gun 2, Virtual Fighter 2, or Virtual Cop comes out, I'm making an arcade fan page and a second arcade channel. I've heard this so many times. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I think he would like it for a couple of weeks. And yeah. Then once he got tired. But he he yeah, he has been pushing for that running gun two I game. Know. For running gun two, especially right for a while. I, yeah. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised this year. With what else comes out? Okay, we'll see. Yeah, well, I mean, Papa Brad's first. Gaming eventually just started doing. You know, I was waiting for Dreamcast games to come to I Arcade, so I just had to start covering them on my own channel. But I love the Dreamcast. Anything like in that type of, it doesn't need even be a Dreamcast game. If it looks like it would have ran on the Dreamcast, yeah, I'm probably gonna love it. You know, Sega's very protective of Dreamcast games. They must be because I don't like, know why. Like, like a game like Cannon Spike to have, like, it's not ported to anything modern. For like Cannon Spike to not be available on, like, a Switch or something modern, it's like, yeah. how do they do that? This game's anything fantastic. Cast is like not People are paying hundreds anywhere. of dollars for it. And it's like, it's like a hidden gem, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, I mean, I love Power Stone. Power Stone 2 is like my dream. Power Stone, Stone is Power great. Stone. And I grew, and I grew up with love uh, that. With PSO, with Fantasy Star Online too, the first the first technical MMO, I guess, right, um, yeah. on Dreamcast because it, it was the first console with Ethernet. It was just ahead of its time. It was know? so ahead of its time. I like the game, games like really hold up well too. I mean, yeah, Sonic I Adventure Battle two, you know, yeah, Fantasy Star two might have been the first one of those style games that I ever played. Yeah, I, yeah, I love turn based Star, fighting. Oh. Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star wasn't turn based. No, Fantasy Star 2. Oh, 2, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's well, been so it's been, I, I never beat it. <laughs> but that's one of the first of those type of style games that I ever played was Fantasy Star 2. I don't think I ever played the first one. Yeah. 
You guys have a couple of role playing games on like sit down type role playing games. I know. I have every. They don't get a. They don't get a lot of love and get mentioned a lot. But you know, we don't. The only reason I don't play them on these shows is because they're very, you know, long form games. Like sitting down and getting through some of the cutscenes would be half the show. So though, but um, yeah, there's some there's some good RPGs that you can enjoy on Arcade. I mean, I'm like, look, I appreciate what you do. I'm, I'm good. Like, I like the, I like the retro. I like the modern stuff. As long as the modern stuff, like when it's done properly. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, I don't like the the ones where they just like, oh, I'm gonna make the graphics look pixely. So this is a Mm -hmm. retro game. Like, some of them know what they get it right. Yeah. When they get when it when it's done properly, they're they're a ton of fun. Rising Hell. Rising Hell is amazing. No, not Dodo. Donut does yep. long head. You got it's a lot hard, of good games. It's hard to beat Donut Dodo. Pixel's so good at like just replicating old school kind of arcade style. They and are feel and but bringing it modern. This game's just so good. I've never completed. Ziggy. It. I've gotten far. Mm-hmm. But you know, you we get a lot of games come out. We start hitting up these games. I get huge into it, and then something else comes out. Then I start playing that, yeah. Yeah. and then you know that's what happens. So, but I know yeah, Brooklyn's we, gonna but, hate me saying this, but Super Perils of Baking, I finished it. I beat the game on the arcade. Nice. I went back. That was a challenge, man. I went back and and the game started. ramps up really hard. Yeah, it's just I I would recommend put on the auto run on that game, mm-hmm. and you just got to get used to the controls. That's another one that I would enjoy playing like with a game a little pad. controller. Like if pad, you just like yeah. if you could just make drivers for like an eight bit dough or something like that, just some kind of retro game pad. Or a few of those games. Yeah, I but think the whole point of the, having it on the arcade is to play it with the arcade controller. So yeah, but it also has HDMI out, so like I could literally play it on my TV if it was connected. We try to steer clear of that usually. I hear you. I hear you. I'm just that. thinking out the box, Michael. I'm- Sorry, I'm not trying to put you under the gun or anything. Literally, we're talking about guns, and I'm putting them under the gun, but. All right, Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your hard work. For having me, guys. For bringing yeah, us uh, Operation Blow and for for celebrating the one year anniversary yeah, of the happy Friday anniversary night of the channel. Yeah, the anniversary, Crazy. Brooklyn. Yeah, it's good to good to have you here. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's always an open door for you. So anytime you want to come hang out, play some games, you know, you know where to stop in. Yeah, I usually like to lurk in the background, you know me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, same with I Arcadian Show. You have an open invite anytime you want to come on. All right, you guys. All right. Thank ready? you we again. Uh, what's going on yeah. with you guys? I know, like, tomorrow I got to do some stuff during the day. I may wind up in the arcade, but I'm I'm seriously looking forward to playing Operation Wolf with the sound cranked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and the feedback on, on the well, sound. Yeah, we play that. Yeah, Bro- Brooklyn, check out my big video later. I got it maxed out, man. That's my first time playing. I was having so much fun. I was just blown away. Uh, Brad, what do you got going on this weekend? Nothing. Nothing. Mike, I, might do, I might do. I relaxing. might do another walk and sock. I haven't made up my mind yet. But uh, I'm gonna work on a. I'm gonna do a little bit of rebounds for sure. I got some coding to do on that still. And then, yeah, not too much this weekend. I'm trying to, to heal up since I broke up my stitches again today. I'm trying yeah. not to do too much, honestly. So, yeah, yeah. You just went from one show to another. Kudos to you. Like, yeah. It's a marathon for you. Yeah, I've been like, working you've been since, streaming uh, for probably many I've been hours at work since by now. Which they am this morning, too. So it's been, yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> so that's how it goes. Yeah, you were like one of the first ones here, too, tonight. I know. Really Max on time. Respect. Nick's maybe tomorrow night. Um, We'll be jumping back into the uh, world of VR because I'm, I mean, it's been a whole week and I'm pissed off that we lost to the Rat King. Yes, Demio. on Demio. So I want my revenge. Yep. That Rat yeah, King needs him. to go down. I'll be yeah, in touch with him. you and see if, if you're around. I know I, I definitely have uh, one other person that wants to Thanks jump in Thanks for watching play. Cuddles, Raven. And we'll see if we could Goofy get foot. Kev Gret to, to play. Say Crow, I, I'd still would love to fanboy. jump in there with, with each of us running a camera. Rain water. Right on. But I'm not using the ones I picked last week. Biggie D. Yep. Play any VR, Michael? Nah, not so much. So I don't own a VR, at least at this point, too. I used to have to test VR, and it was mm-hmm. 
kind of shell shock after that, honestly, for a while. <laughs> kind of PTSD. Yeah. All right. Some people can't handle it. I mean, it's fine. Well, so like, I'm totally fine with VR, but like VR testing is a nightmare because when you're running a lot of these games and they're not 60 FPS, oh yeah, oh, yeah your it eyes. does not oh, do things to your brain. No, that yeah, I wrong. know. So yeah. And I'm a gymnast too. So like my balance and stuff is, is very spot on. Like I'm good. I don't feel like queasy ever with things, but man, there's sometimes yeah. Yeah, VR just messed with me for a little while, but we've been doing yeah. a lot of cross play. I'm on the, I have the Oculus to mm-hmm. an oculus one but i've been on the playstation vr2 and nick's as the oculus but these games have cross play so we've been yeah. able to jump in and i'm waiting and on uh i'm waiting on zelda right now because of course I'm, I'm a huge zelda fan i'm wearing a zelda shirt yeah. so i think zelda. right now too zelda yeah i'm Classic. waiting on that and then i'm waiting on uh diablo 4 as well too oh, yeah yes. so that's tempting that. yeah it that's is i want to see one. some gameplay yeah I'm just, i just mostly mess around like it's it's either PlayStation VR two or I'm on the iArcade one of the, one of the two. I have, man, night, I'm on the PSVR two. I'm gonna have to jump into some trucks then again soon too after tonight, a hundred percent. Because yeah. now I'm like itching for trucks then again. <laughs> after seeing that footage, after mm-hmm. I have I have trucks in on three different formats. The iArcade is still the best way to play it. I have yeah. it on iArcade, Evercade, and I have it on the Egret Mini two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you like you know, the they just the brought Donut Dodo just came out on Evercade. On Evercade, yeah, so and yep. it's it's a great game, but it's you know what? It's just not as much. Not the fun. same, man. The the Donut Dodo was made to be in an R on an arcade cab. My son That's loves that game, so game I for an arcade probably cab. put it on downstairs on the big TV. Mm-hmm. But it's just not as much fun to play. I like playing it with the arcade setup mm-hmm. more than uh <clears throat> you know more than a controller. I don't then, know if you heard this. Then Awaken when, Evil, that would be something I would like to play more did, with. Did you hear controller. that Donut Dodo is also going to the actual arcade? There's gonna uh, there's gonna be an actual Donut Dodo arcade machine, machine at the yeah. arcade. And it's gonna have a few extra levels and stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you heard about that? So like a full on arcade game. Yeah, they do those as companies do like the the massive machines and stuff, the full arcade machines. They do like the very small scale runs of them, right? They'll probably only make one, or if not like a handful usually. It's typical, uh-huh. right? Yeah, those uh, are cool. Like Enter the Gungeon, I remember seeing the yeah. Enter the Gungeon one. That's yeah. a great game. And now they got the uh, the they have the light gun game, um, House of the Gun Dead. Have you I seen ha- that? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I heard it was like a four hour wait when they set that up for that, of people wanting to play it. Yeah, it's a it's a modern light gun game, but that mm-hmm. that whole series is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of fun. All right, Michael. We'll keep Michael all night here. Yeah, we are. We are. Let's let this guy go, man. <laughs> Eventually, he's been giving blood for IRK yeah, right today. Surprise, Stitch Nick is, is coming out. He's still, still, he's still got everything done. Hours, the guy's literally bleeding. The guy's literally, yeah, bleeding. The guy's literally bleeding for IRK. I mean, how much more dedication could you ask for out of somebody? You guys should see. I'm telling you, my car was like a murder scene today. It was so, <laughs> it was so bad, guys. When I was driving myself to the hospital, I was like, this is not good. So. Drives himself to the hospital right. and still releases... Yeah. You know, it's Operation yeah, they, Wolf. They sewed me back up. We're good. We're okay. So and then goes on all these streams. Michael, thank you so much. Nah, Seriously, gotta, we, we appreciate my, you. My blood thinners, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We were all speculating when it didn't come out at like the you know the normal uh, yeah, time. We're like, all right, yeah. if they're doing a show at seven and the game didn't come out, then life happens sometimes. <laughs> we're getting <laughs> Operation okay. Wolf Gold Cabs tonight. Yeah, heal up. We were wrong about everything. Yeah. All right. Usually we are because we don't know anything. All right, guys. Everyone have a great night, Michael. Thanks again. Thanks for everything you do. Yes. Papa, Brad, Nick's, and everyone in the chat room on our one year anniversary. Thanks so much to everybody that comes out and, and supports the show. We have a great time doing this every week. And we'll see you again next week right here on the Friday Night Arcade Show. Stay with you. Back me. Back me. Ah! Oh, my God.